Welcome everybody to the Fan Friday stream. Hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm using a different camera today, so it might look a little different, a little worse to wear, kind of. Um, but hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, we're running basically uh, three, not three control decks. We're running two control decks and then a post Cyclops deck. So having fun. Mills consistently renegade. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Uh, anyway, guys, let me know if the mic is too hot or if the music is too loud or too soft or what have you. I'll be make, be uh, just adjusting those as we go throughout. Is your camera being rude again? Yeah, pretty much, Jess. <laughs> If you guys don't know, I'm using a uh, Lumex G7 for most of my video stuff, and sometimes it doesn't work well with the Cam Link and my OBS software. So, I have this uh, Logitech uh, camera, like webcam, for uh, whenever I do like Skype interviews and stuff like that. What's up, Pharaoh? And uh, just had to swap to this tonight uh, today so I could uh, continue to stream. So, <laughs> goodness. Uh, but today we've got uh, basically control decks and then a Boros Cyclops deck. They're all in the description, of course. We'll go over them as we go through the decks. But uh, I may this is this is kind of how you get you, you make a, a video where you're talking about how control sucks, and then for your fan Friday submissions, everyone submits control decks. I guess I guess I asked for this. <laughs> I posted on Twitter. I was like, why would you do this? But uh, yeah, I I, I uh, totally. Uh, I got what was coming to me, apparently. We've got Bud Control by Eric Heitkamp. We've got uh, Mintops, the Smash Maker by Zaka. And then Terrence Bane by Sorok, which is a Bant Controlist. Um, probably going to go for Bug Control first to see how this works. These are all uh, actual standard lists as well. There was a really spicy blue-black mill list submitted by LB that I almost picked um, for Commander. And if, if uh, he does submit that again next week, I'm definitely going to pick that. Um, almost picked it, but decided against that to go for the two control lists because they were so different in different ways. His tyrant is uh, is in both of them. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to get as long as I can hear your majestic voice, you're good. Thanks. That's so great. Good job, guys. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's go over bug control here. We've got 26 lands, cast down, moment of craving, walk the plank, thought erasure, assassin's trophy, golden demise, notion reigns, thief of sanities, ritual of soot, which is a great board wiper. Brass's Contempt, Night Vale Predator, Doom Whisperer, Dream Eater, Carnage Tyrant, Vraska Relic Seeker, and of course Find and Finality. Then the sideboard with Stroke and Negates, more Moment of Craving, another Golden Demise, Death Gorge Scavenger, and more to Ego, and then uh, more Assassin's Trophy and Sentinel Totem. This deck is all over the place and it's amazing, and I'm definitely going to see if this actually works uh, in a standard. So I'm going to try this out. As always, guys, if you want to submit your deck for Fan Friday, make sure to leave it in the Facebook group. We have the MTGO Traders Facebook group, the Discord. If uh, someone from the Discord could please link the Discord link in there. Actually, I think I can do that here. I don't know if you guys are allowed to do that from from the the YouTube chat because YouTube chat is sometimes weird. So I'm gonna move this down over here and then have an invite link so everyone can. Uh, can do this. Expire, never generate link. Thank you. <laughs> What's up, Elliot? You're banned. You're all banned. Yeah. Everyone decided to make control decks, and of course they did, because why not? So let's do bug control and see what we can do. Really excited to see if this deck actually works. If it does, I'll be really surprised and really happy because bug control is one of the few color combinations that, uh, Sometimes works really well and sometimes just doesn't do anything at all, so we'll see what happens. There we go, just lining up all the stuff for uh, MTGO. I have a band deck, but I refuse to submit it. <laughs> My bugs! That's true, Jess. You need to run some counter magic in the main to protect uh, sanity. It lets make people want to not play magic anymore by not letting them play magic. <laughs> Uh, come on, I, li I actually like Control, despite the video I made on uh, Tuesday. Um, that was more of a joke video. I'm going to hit leave event here and host. Help. There we go. I actually enjoy Control. It was one of the first archetypes I really enjoyed in Magic the Gathering. Play first, yes. I just wanted to make a video kind of, uh, you know, ranting about it. This is a terrible hand. Let's go with the mulligan. This is a bit better. Need green mana, though. Let's go to keep here. Let's see what we have off the top. If we have green mana, we might actually keep this. Want a mulligan to six there. We're going to keep the Thief of Sanity on top. Ban 
with Herald of Secrets. <laughs> Renegade, thank you. I've been looking for this Discord. Oh, no problem, Renegade. I'm sorry about that. I try to, sh to share it, but I, uh, I'm very, like... Forgetful. I hate playing versus control. I love playing control. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that's usually everyone's kind of thought process on control decks. It's like we love playing like with a control deck, but we hate playing against a control deck because, you know, unless you are playing control versus control, because then that's a really interesting match uh, to me uh, because it actually means that you're actually having to think a little bit more than you, you normally would for um, most matchups. I'm going to pass turn. Hold up. Moment of craving. Thief of Sanity coming out on turn three for us. I'm going to hit two here. Control holds my brain. Just play fogs. Never let your opponent smack you and combo off. That sounds like a uh, turbo fog or turbo mill, however you want to pronounce that. Void for the opponent here. So they probably are on Demir control. They just didn't hit their blue mana, and Void's going to help them with that. Ooh, no, they're not. Okay, so Secret Squire coming in. We're going to go with a moment of craving in between their their explore here. So the craving can kill the squire. Remember, this is negative two, negative two, and the squire has two toughness. If they hit something with the explore, it'll be a 2-3, meaning, meaning that Moment of Craving cannot work on it. They hit a Field of Ruin, which is a land, so it wouldn't have went off, but we don't want to take that chance. Uh, the activation there. So let's go for a Swamp here, and then go for a Thief of Sanity, and then uh, see if it doesn't die to something. I'm taking Jeskai Control to FNM. Steven, Jeskai Control is probably one of the archetypes right now in Standard, and I'm really happy with how that deck is shaping up. Seriously, there's so much good right now in Jeskai Control. Um, Explosion is one of the few cards where it's like, it's almost like another Sphinx's Revelation, but for damage and card draw, and that's amazing to me. Um, just another way for you to win the match by also getting a lot of value. Um, we have Thief of Sanity here, so let's go for that hit first before we do anything with Rass's Contempt or whatnot, or whatnot. Let's see here. It's pretty good. Are you running one for one removal, like Justice Strike and Lava Quills, or more board wipes like Clarion, Settle, and Cleansing? Um, just a strike, I feel like in game one, and then you're going to bring in Clarions and Settles in game two, depending on your, your meta, of course. Let's see here. We've got uh, Zealot, Bells and Lock, and Supplier. Let's go with a Zealot here. I like casting this. Giving us some value here. Would have been amazing if we had the mana for it, but we do not. I would have liked a green mana right there off the top. Gonna go with the uh, pass turn. Jeskai Control is good, but so boring. My friend runs a Jeskai Control deck. No game is shorter than 45, 49 minutes. Ugh. I think Steve is more of a tempo card, tempoing your opponent and using counters to protect. I definitely think so too. Um, I do think Thief though is pretty good against a heavy graveyard based deck like this because you're wanting to pick things into their graveyard, or they're wanting to, but you're also giving a. Uh, yourself a little bit of leeway with those value cards like Zealots or Bells and Locks. Opponent's trying to get in here for a 2-2. We're just going to let them hit us because we're at 21 here. Thanks a moment of craving. I think it's it's interesting. Sometimes you get to double Bane Fire with Expansion to Explosion for sure. Light Crafter for the opponent here. We're going to go and just sack their Zealot. One of the things I uh, I like about Plague, Fi uh, Plague Crafter is it's very good uh, against one-on-one um, -on -one strategy, so normally against a deck archetype like Control, uh, the Plague Crafter is really good, but still it, thanks to Thief of Sanity, did pretty well there. Thought Erasure from the, for us. Uh, we're going to pay two life here. I'm happy with that. Let's hit them for two again. We may go Thought Erasure, but we might actually go with Rast's Contempt on that Plague Crafter just to uh, kind of hold back some damage. Let's see here. Okay, down to 16. What three cards you got? Another Zealot, Sword Point Diplomacy, and a Swamp. Hmm. I appreciate the card here, um, holding up Thought Erasure or Sword Point Diplomacy. Actually, let's go Sword Point Diplomacy here. Um, okay. This is going to help kind of slow them down as well. And then we're going to go Thought Erasure right after that. I don't mind taking five over this. Overgrown Tomb is the card we want. Uh, Vras is going to go into the, to the Exile, I assume. So they're probably going to give us the two lands here. Let's see. Would love an Overgrown Tomb. That's my goal here, is to get the Overgrown Tomb into our hand. Let's see if we hit it. Because we'll have enough mana next turn. We'll have six mana next turn. 
Running five board wipes and counters and a few justice strikes and seal away for early threats. I actually don't like seal away, Steven. I actually prefer baffling in right now. Thank you for the over overgrown tomb. Um, the reason I like that is because of cards like uh, knights, green white knights, and Abzan knights. Those that, those car uh, archetypes just run over lots of other archetypes. Uh, we're gonna go and get rid of the eldest reborn here. All these are pretty powerful though, but eldest reborn is the one that makes us sack our creature. Uh, Thief of Sanity. We can put that on top. That's fine. When it just takes nine damage and slams down Death Shadow. <laughs> yeah, if this was modern, definitely. Bring any rats, by the way, Taryn. Can you do your best impression of Saffron Olive saying Ral? I've never heard him say Ral, but uh, I mean, I I I can try, I guess. Is he like Ral? Is it Viceroy? I don't. I can't even do. I can't even do Saffron Olive. So. Hello, everyone. I love Saffron. He's a cool guy. Uh, Awakening coming in here. Um, he's hitting us for five. No problem taking us down to 13. We're just going to play probably Vraska this coming turn since they didn't do anything else. I thought they would have laid a land and done something, but they did not. <laughs> Elliot, <laughs> stop. No more no more Saffron Olive impressions. I, I, I got it. No, Taryn, no. Let's go with the Overgrown Tomb. We're going to take two, and then we're probably going to uh, get rid of the Awakener here. Actually, let's go Overgrown Tomb first, untapped. Uh, we're not going to play Vraska this turn. I like that play a little bit better. Let's go for a hit, and then Contempt the Awakener. Seems nice. I love using Thief of Sanity here to take advantage of uh, their deck here. Uh, Plague Crafter for them... I'm assuming that Plague Crafter would just be used to grab the zombie. We'll definitely grab Plague Crafter. Let's go with the past turn here. Just mispronounce every single card name and you'll truly have the impression down. Here's a Thaif of Saniti and uh, here's a Vereska and Relique Saker. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just got our Plague You Kreef Durer, and they have Thur cards in hand. <laughs> Was that too mean? Going on the Overgrown Tomb here. Oh, do we have any green mana in the deck? We have one. Thank you. I'm okay with that. Three cards in the opponent's hand here. Just going for an attack. See, this is the thing where we probably should have uh, done Awakener. Let's see if they tap out. They're probably just going to go for the Zealot here. Stitch a Supplier. The center could also be a, a pick. What version of Photoshop do you use? I use uh, Creative Cloud, so it's always the most updated version, Pharaoh. Back in the day, you used to use CS3, CS4, that kind of stuff. But once it went to Creative Cloud, I just started paying them monthly because I like me some Photoshop. Luckily, they don't have any Plague Crafters. There's a Secret Squire coming in. I'm happy with Contempting uh, the Awakener here. If you're interested in like the uh, the drawings and illustrations I do, I do most of those in... Uh, Procreate on my iPad now with the new uh, Apple Pencil and stuff like that. Really appreciate that. Creeping Chill here is pretty good. Drops us down to 12. You go to 14. Creative Cloud is a ripoff, but also the best. I mean, I use every single program from Adobe. I use uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, and Premiere almost every day. So it's one of those things where it's like I kind of need it for all my stuff. So all the videos I make and all that. Little Thief of Sanity that could. Seven more turns. Let's go. That's right. Uh, we have Nine Rain here. Let's go with the Drowned Catacombs. Let's go with a Relic Seeker. I actually don't mind going plus two here. Make a two two. Even though it's a little slow. I could go Finality as well, but I want to save Finality probably for next turn. We're just going to pass turn here be a little defensive since we're at seven. 
just in case. But opponents still, again, they need more mana. They only have five here. Bells and Lock is a card that can come in next turn, so I want to be very careful about how we use Vraska's negative three. Dust Legion Zealot coming in here. Am I on the $50 a month plan then? I think so. Actually, I'm on the $80 a month plan, Elliot. Because I use everything. So, like, I even use, like, uh, the font, the typeface font sinker, that kind of stuff. So that's, that's the one I use. <clears throat> but again, like, I don't, I don't do stuff for MTGO traders and Magic the Gathering. I do stuff for, like, where other clients, like, real estate agents or just people who need a logo for their business, that kind of stuff. Dang, Tiger. That's right. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're swinging everything at uh, Vraska here, which is, you know, fine. Let's go to the block here and a block here, and then Vraska's going to go to six. Reason being is because we're going to go Finality this coming turn. We were just waiting to see if they had a follow-up play that we didn't like, like a uh, Chupacabra or something. So Finality here is for us. Ritual of Soot is also pretty amazing because it's cheaper. Um, so let's go Ritual of Soot here. I like that way better. Now, this does throw Citrus Supplier into the graveyard with three other cards. And of course, Creeping Chill is the, a card that hits there as well. So we do be very careful uh, to use Notion Rain here. So let's plus on Vraska and just play out a Thief of Sanity. Notion Rain is one of those cards that uh, it's very difficult to get around if uh, we're actually throwing things into, into their graveyard. What's up, Bradley? MTGO. Yeah, this is mine. And of course, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We put out lots of content on the daily. It's always a ton of fun. I always forget about the second half of Find. I find myself losing to it quite often. Yeah, Find and Finality is actually a card that's way better than it appears. Uh, find is very good in the mid to late game, and Finality is very good in the mid to early game if you get to it to six bad on turn six. It's very good to uh, slow down those aggro decks. But we've got Demon Lord Bells Knock here. They, uh, let's see what cards they grabbed. Does this look like anything? Land off the top. Let's get rid of the uh, Demon Lord for them. We could have gone Plague Crafter there. We're going to save Plague Crafter. Let's get in for four here. I'm down to 11. Okay. We'd like to hit something important with Deep of Sanity. Creeping Shield would be great. Doom to Center, Plague Crafter. Again, not amazing. We'll grab the Plague Crafter once again. Uh, because those are really fun. Um, hmm. I really want to use Notion Rain, but we're so close to death that we might as well not. I want to see you pump a Carnage turn at least once with Finality. Oh, we'll try that for sure. For sure. We got to get into more Overgrown Tombs, though, because this deck only had one uh, green regular basic land. Four cards in hand here. Playcrafter from the opponent. All that's going to do is make us sack the pirate here. Opponent scooping! <laughs> Whoa, that's funny. Yeah, I guess they just didn't see anything beyond what we had. Um, so, probably want to bring in Unmoored Ego for this deck list. I like taking out Dream Eater for this. Uh, Finality's fine, as well as the Ritual of Soot. Um, Golden Demise is also not terrible, but it is one of the cards that it does the least amount of damage, so we might want to take that out and bring in a Sentinel Totem. The thing we like about uh, Unmoored Ego here is we can just name a card and it just searches. Uh, the other thing is for Sentinel's Totem here, it helps us just kind of lock down their graveyard. Unmoored is for combo decks. You love that card though, so okay. <laughs> I love any any of the Lost Legacies, the, the, all that kind of stuff. What's up, Renegade? To uh, Sorox? Yeah. What's up, Sorox? Yeah. Um, we could go with some Negates here. I assume that they would bring those in, but... Let's bring in Sentinel Totem here. Fine, we, we won't bring in Unmoored Ego. How about that? We'll just bring in a uh, Death Gorge Scavenger. That's fine. We have more green mana in the deck list than, than I thought we did, but I do think that we probably want to take out Walk the Plank. Bring in another Moment of Craving. Anything with passive life game, 
Gonna bring in. Let's hit submit. Eccles. Hello, Sir Elks. That's my best Saffronov impression. You guys should see uh, Ristic Studies on Twitter. He did like a little video where he like did a bunch of impressions of stuff, and it was hilarious. Uh, Thought Erasure and Contempt is not amazing in her hand. I have correct mana though. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep this because of Thought Erasure. So let's go with the keep here. We do have that on turn two, which I like. We're also on the draw. Tyrant infuses. Saltai, glad to see people splashing for three colors. Esper and Jeskai. Yeah. Supplier here. Snap keep. <laughs> I see correct mana. I snap keep. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to go for a... Oh, there we go. It's a land again. Off the top. Go for that and pass. Uh, then go Swamp next turn. Thought Erasure. We're going to take one point of damage. I would love to see a deck of yours, Terran, with Togar and Poison Tip Archer. That would be great. Maybe. That sounds like fun. Elks for life. I think it was awesome. Sunshine post on Discord. Oh, yeah. I think that's how I saw that, actually. Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, does Dust Legion Zealot even matter on the sports? I say no. Being us for one here, going down to 19. Would like to go for and then into Thought Erasure. Probably would have been better to play. We couldn't because I'd be, I'd be coming in tap. I guess we could play it either way. Contempt off the top is not bad. Having lots of mid-game stuff here like this is really good because our deck is about control, so. They got lots of stuff. Um, probably want to get rid of the Awakener here instead of the Contempt. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's get rid of Contempt. We're going to throw that into the graveyard. Pass turn. Okay, four cards in hand for the opponent here. Got to see what they have. I assume they're going to play Field of Ruin this turn unless they have another land. Field of Ruin to play. Two Izareths. Yeah, come in. There's one Izareth. Things for two. You're going to need to find a Ritual Soot, else the wide board is going to be a problem. Absolutely. Yeah, top decking the Contempt there is pretty good for us because, again, these are all like one power and then three. So we definitely want to Contempt on turn three for our four if we can. Uh, drawing into a ritual sit though would be amazing. Unmoored Ego would be great right about now. Really, Elliot? Don't say! <laughs> Ooh, Karn's Siren's also pretty good as well. It does get around in Contempt, so we didn't have to worry about that too much. We're going to take quite a bit of damage, and they're probably going to play the Zealot next turn. So we're just going to have to go Contempt, Contempt, and then play Carnage Tyrant. That seems like the play for us. As long as the opponent doesn't uh, uh, do anything too ridiculous. It's not I was joking. What's up, Devlin? Getting rid of uh, Cemetery here. Let's go for a forest. <laughs> to make sure we have correct mana. So they went for the Field of Ruin instead of the Zealot play. I feel like that might have been a mistake for them, but they able to just contempt the... Isareth. Now, we are taking 5 this turn, going to 12. Elliot got jokes for days. That's why he's at ad admin, man. He's just here to antagonize me. That's the only reason he's here. <laughs> this is your supplier coming in. Creeping Chill. Again, Creeping Chill is one of those cards that kind of passively kills them. Which is not good. We're down to 9 already. Overgrown Tomb here. Let's go for Woodland Cemetery. And uh, we're just going to go for a Isareth kill here. Get rid of that. Go up to 11. I test his metal. Who got the Guilds of Ravnica booster box? Pharaoh, nobody got it. It's it's literally still right beside me because I've reached out to like several people and no one has got back to me. So I just kind of gave up. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to have to give it away some other way. Like, seriously, I might have to just do like something on, on the Facebook group or something like that because... It's literally insane how no one, like, it's a good box. And there's actually, like, the, the buy box promo is with the box. <sighs> open it. I don't want to open it, though, because I bought it to give away. Oh, thank, thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> Talk to you later. Uh, Woodland Cemetery for us. Um, let's just get rid of the Awakener again. I like the play here. But, yeah, it's, it's really frustrating because it's a good box, and it's a good, it's an okay, like, uh, 
Uh, we caught buy box promo on top of it. It's just like no one replies to my comments. I don't know. Is, is it just that weird that like people don't like reply to reply to comments that much on YouTube? Like they just make the comment and they don't really expect people to reply. I don't know. I want to give the, the box away. That's that's my that's my goal. Let's go and play an island here. Ooh, Ritual Soot's also very good here. Let's just go Ritual Soot. We could play Carnage Tyrant there, but I like Ritual Soot a little bit better. Now, the uh, Citrus Fires could hit two Creeping Chills, so that might be bad. There's one. Uh, please don't hit another. Give it away to chat. Hmm, I could definitely do that, I guess. Let's see if we can play out Carnage Tyrant this next turn. Just make sure that it's someone from Facebook or Discord. <laughs> yeah, I think that's not what might ha blah, blah, blah. start over. I think that's what might happen, Sir Elks, because that way I know it's going to people that like are part of the community, are very active in the community, and will reply to a comment that I say, "Hey, can I talk to you on an email?" And they're like, "Yeah." That might be the way I do it, honestly. I'm thinking of a different way to do it. Maybe make another video that's like, hey, no one got this box because every time I reached out, no one like, replied, so. How about I just do another giveaway? <laughs> but this time you gotta go to our Discord or something like that. I think that makes sense. People are busy, Taryn, yeah. Did we win the last round? We did, yeah. So we have the, uh, we have the upper hand of this match here so far. Let's go for a contempt. Not a Vastic Contempt, a uh, Doom Whisper following up the Carnage Tyrant hit here. Would like to play Doom Whisper and just be like, good good game. Two, three, five. Yeah. It's crazy. I feel like Doom Whisper should have been six mana, but they were like, eh, we'll push it. We're holding up Assassin's Trophy now. I'm expecting a Contempt hitting that Doom Whisper this turn. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to surveil with Doom Whisper because we want to make sure that we don't hit, they don't hit a creeping chill with a citrus supplier. Gotta go eat. Get this bread. <laughs> Five cards in hand for the opponent. Four mana. Seeker Squire coming in here. Now we could go Assassin's Trophy on the Seeker Squire. The problem with that, of course, is that we don't want to give them another land right now. We want to make sure that if they have an Eldest Reborn in hand, which they do now, um, that we have another creature on the battlefield before they get to play that. Okay, let's see. Thief of Sanity is in our hand here. Let's go for a another attack. Play out Thief of Sanity as a way to deter the Illus Reborn play. I don't think they're gonna block. They're not, they're not gonna block. Because this way they can hit us in for two if they hit a fifth land. With Thief of Sanity here. Did I miss mid tops? The Smash Maker. You did not, Sorox. That's going to be probably the next deck because we're going to go control and then mid tops and then, then control again. We're going to try and mix it up with the control decks. This salt eye control list doesn't really feel like a control list to me. Vicious offering from the opponent. Ooh. Okay. So we might actually have to take two damage right here. They hit their fifth land, so we do lose Carnage Tyrant from the Eldest Reborn. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go for a Assassin's Trophy on the Squire here and not take the damage. We'll lose the Carnage Tower. I think we're going to lose this match now because of that play. Might have been the target here, but I don't want to lose the, uh, the damage. Control's power level and standard is stupid. Devlin, I think it's very powerful right now for sure. I do feel bad that we're, we're losing a Tyrant here. We'd love a uh, Vraska off the top now. That's my my main goal. We hit a Thought Erasure, which is not terrible. We're holding this Overgrown Tomb in our hand. Let's get rid of the uh, Contempt here. Yes, on top. Absolutely. Yep. So we definitely have the uh, Vraska for next turn for the, the play. To get rid of the uh, 
Eldest Reborn. Discard the Overgrown Tomb there, no problem. Chupacabra, they probably want, don't want to play this card, unless they have something else off the top. Yeah, Zealot's a good card for them. Although Zealot does not kill uh, Vraska with the negative, after we negative three. So let's get this out. Let's go with a negative three, get rid of the Eldest Reborn so they can't use their Arcarnish Tyrant against us. And then we make a treasure and pass turn. Yay. This has been a fight the whole match, thanks to um, Creeping Chill here. Demon Lord Bells Unlock, another card. So we can't go with a negative three destroy Demon Lord Bells Unlock because they go down to nine here. Let's see what cards that. Secret Squire, Ravenous, Super Cover, Cheaper Creeping Chill. Oh, yeah, don't forget to lick, to lick, <laughs> to like the video. Don't forget to lick the video. Just saying, you know, because your screens are like that. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, yeah, they're going to go down to. A follow of Rask would be amazing. A Contempt would also be very good against that be Bells and Lock. That's what I would hope for. Even to find would be good. Ooh! Octa! I'm just going to name my plays from now on. Contempt hitting that Bells and Lock is fantastic. What a top deck. What a play. So this does mean that uh, they're going to have to play Chupacabra this coming turn. Um, can they do Creeping Chill now? Yeah. Mana, they can just do three. Okay. We're going to... They're going to go Chupacabra pre-combat hit Vraska for th down to three again. Hellstorm, somebody misplays for us? Not enough in my opinion. <laughs> Goodness. Chupacabra targeting the pirate. That's fair. Hitting, a, hitting Vraska down to three. Secret Squire coming in. Okay. What's up, Zaka? You made it. Play Crafter off the top for the opponent. Would love a Ritual Soot or Finality would be, would be great. Now, if only YouTube would stop buffering. Oh, I'm sorry. I did lower the latency on this one, Zaka, so that there's uh, there's less. It's less latency. Give me something. Give me something. Oh, a land is not what I wanted. Hmm. Okay, so Plaguecraft is a card that they're going to be able to play next turn. I'm trying to think if we go with a Vraska's can, uh, kill here on the Secret Squire. No, we're dead here because if we go Vraska and get rid of the Secret Squire here or the Trooper Copper, it doesn't matter. They'll still be able to do three points of damage next turn, and then they'll just go Creeping Chill. So that's game. I just see the black screen with the buffer circle. Goodness. Oh, hey, I see like three pixels now. That sucks. Let's go to sideboard here. All right. Um, hmm. I think what we would want to bring out here. Let's take out the Predator. Bring in another Death Corps Scavenger. Again, passive life gain is important in this uh, matchup. Let's bring in another Assassin's Trophy. And, uh... You know what? Let's, let's bring in Golden Demise here. Instead. Let's hit Smith. I'm trying to get rid of the, uh... The threats that aren't that threatening to their, their life total. Okay, let's see. Four land, all correct mana, Tyrant, and Moan of Craving. This is very good, thanks to Notion Rain, so we're going to keep this. And play Overgrown Tomb first. Because that turns on uh, the Drowned Catacombs. Golden Demise seems really good. It's really good for sure, uh, until you look at cards like uh, Seeker Squire. But I definitely agree that Golden Demise card in this matchup most of the time so we'll definitely be there's definitely one in the deck now supplier on the turn one play is very good with that creeping chill huh. dangerous play there by the opponent and see if i go mode of craving to supplier now we actually might lose even more life instead of gain life uh gotta go with the catacombs here and pass turn youtube streams lately have been really crap yeah, you know, I've really been thinking about the, the Fan Friday, like, Fan Friday thing. Like, should it be a stream or should I just do a video? Like, I pick three decks and then I just run them. And then you see that video. I think that's probably a better idea. 
as far as um, how the video goes. Man, the mode of craving is really bad in this situation. We're still going to take the damage, though. We don't want to use the moment of craving just yet. I feel like one of the reasons that the YouTube streams have been kind of terrible is that they, they canceled the YouTube gaming stuff that they talked about a couple years ago. Let's get rid of that. Play out Notion Rain here. Again, we're taking two damage again, so we're taking four next turn. Total. This is really great. Uh, on top. Two, three, five, six. Uh, on Graveyard. So we've got our big threats, which is good. And we have removal, which gains us life, so I think we're fine. Yeah, we don't want to slam Tyrant down until we have something else on the battlefield, so I definitely agree with that. Us being on the play is very good, though. And if opponent does miss their land drops, then they will be out a little bit. Eric, except y'all, this deck <laughs> crap, <laughs> crap the bed for me last night. Uh, we're still in the first game, and we're doing pretty good. We're on game three out of this. Eldest Reborn is the uh, the top card for the Squire, so they do have it in their hand, or next turn, you know. So, definitely don't want to play Carnage Tyrant without playing other creatures on the battlefield. So, probably better to play first. Not having mana up for the Moment of Craving on the Secret Squire is pretty bad. But drawing into a Ritual so would have been great there. Let's go with the Woodland Cemetery play here and then go with a Thought Erasure. I like this play. Creeping Chill, Plague Crafter. Um, so I guess we're gonna get rid of Plague Crafter, Craf Crafter, Plague Crafter, and uh, throw that into the graveyard. Let's pass turn here. Would have liked to have been able to surveil a uh, something important next turn. What well, is an exile? I just think it just throws it away. Yeah, it cards it. They're going to cast Creeping Chill. That's interesting. They're up to 26. We're down to 9. Uh, let's probably go for a... Hmm. Let's get rid of the Dissenter here. Obviously, they're going to get a 2-2. We're going to gain 2 life and cancel out the Squire damage and just go down to 8. Just kill the Stitcher. Not yet! <laughs> Let's see. As far as value, I, I do think that... Yeah, there's there's a Contempt. Good, good. That's what we want. Let's play out the Overgrown Tomb here. Say no. And then hold up Contempt. Play, we go down to six, we play Contempt, and then the following turn we play Vraska and uh, destroy their other creature. Seems decent. Which is better, Grixis or Jeskai in standard? Uh, Devlin, I would say Jeskai right now, thanks to expansion to Explosion. That's probably the better card. Um, Grixis is still very good. All right, so they're attacking in here for five. We're going to contempt the supplier and take four. We actually only take two thanks to the contempt, gaining us some life. Problem. They have Eldest Reborn in their hands, so Carnage is a no-go for now. Isareth is on the top for them. Assassin's Trophy is not bad. Let's go Vraska here. I like getting rid of a Squire here. It does make Vraska killable next turn. Which I'm not a fan of. Actually, let's go plus two here and make a 2-2. Two -two. Block with the zombie. This would force them to play the Eldest Reborn early. If they want to just continue to be advantageous. Actually, we lose! No! I got ahead of myself. That's dumb. We died. We died. We dead. I'm, I'm scooping. Play again. Uh, I did that like yesterday whenever I was, uh, or not yesterday, but a couple days ago. I was uh, play testing my, our, that Mono Black Vampires deck against another deck list, and they were playing um, 
Storm. And I just totally, like, threw, blew up the match because I was thinking too far ahead. Man, this is a really kind of okay hand. I wish we had one more land. This is a keep, though. The Thought Erasure. But yeah, that was a big misplay on my part there. I was getting too ahead of myself. The ne negative three killing the Secret Squire would have been fine. It would have given us another turn, but... Yeah, I, I didn't like our chances on that particular matchup. If it isn't, Expansion to Explosion can both be played in Grixis anyway. Woodlands here. Uh, let's go Thief of Sanity. Let's see here. Oh, opponent scooping it up. That's funny. They had a good hand, but uh, they scooped up completely. They salt scooped. All right, it's fine. Got a good turn. I will try and bounce back in a few. Thanks for the content. No problem, Devlin. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your Friday, for sure. We're getting another game here because opponent scooped up early. Thanks to that turn two thought erasure. This is probably fine thanks to a sack trophy uh, and moment of craving. This is not ideal though for thought erasure. But let's go with the keep since we're on the draw. Mountain going for a Gitu Lava Mancer. Or Lava Runner, not Mancer. Hmm. Let's go Overgrown Tomb and pass. So this looks like a maybe a mono red aggro or a wizards. Is it aggro? The two red. Probably just mono red aggro. Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe wizards. I don't know. Hard to tell so far. Three damage in. Ritual sub and is very good. Just gotta get to that four mana now. Thanks to the Woodland Cemetery, we have both of the uh, the black mana requirements. Let's pass turn here, holding up Moment of Craving. Just want to tell you that I got up from my nap to watch the stream, by the way. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm happy for you. Three mana for the opponent. Let's uh, get rid of the... Lava Runner here. Assuming he's holding a burn spell right now. Do one point of extra damage. Love adult naps. That's awesome. I wish I could have more naps during the day. That'd be great. <laughs> Chain Whirler from the opponent here. Kind of thought that was going to happen. Whenever I see three red mana, I think Chain Whirler. Naps greater than coffee. How dare you. Uh, Watery Grave is pretty good, so let's play that. Coming in tapped, of course. And passing turn. Holding up Assassin's Trophy now. Likely don't want to use Assassin's Trophy. We might just take the five points of damage. They have three cards in hand, though, so it might be better to actually Assassin's Trophy the uh, Chain Whirler. So let's go for that. This does give them a mana boost. Going to five mana. But if we can hold them off a little bit, then we should be fine. Ritual Soot here is really good because if they play up multiple creatures after this, then we should be all right. Just don't want to get too low in life total just yet because we want to make sure that uh, we have our top in, top deck plays like Vraska pretty well as a solvent. Um, so Ritual Soot is amazing here because it actually just demolishes their board state. Let's go Woodland Cemetery into uh, Ritual of Soot. Keep, keep they keep a two two, but um, now they would need to play more goblins or another commander to make this worth it. Nap dot deck, <laughs> chain whirler. All right. So we're gonna do contempt on the chain whirler. Two cards in hand for the opponent. Uh, pass turn first. Would have loved to have enough mana for Thought Erasure and Contempt, but we do not. Playing the gold standard decks, what up, T-Doc? Please don't bite me. Why would I bite you? That's weird. That's strange. Oh, because I'm a dog. Oh, gotcha, Singe. That makes, that makes sense. Didn't make as much sense as I thought it would until after I thought about it for a second and realized I'm dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. Getting rid of the Chain Wheeler here, going up 13. Let's see. I have something? burn spell. Oh, they're going to sack it to commander. That's fair. I forget that they can do that. 
So they do a little bit more damage, and we don't get life gain there. But they do lose, uh, instead of doing five, they do four. Let's go into Vraska. And get rid of the commander. This is two mana, correct? Yeah. This is any mm, so they could be able to kill Vraska this turn. Sacking itself. Yeah. They'll be able to do this either way. Oh, they're targeting us. Strange. Now that does mean they may have two pieces of removal next, or two pieces of burn next turn. So if that's the case, then we're just dead. This deck bugs people, right? Yeah, it's control deck, basically, James. So you're, you're basically right there. Wizards Lightning into, you have Shock or another burn spell. You have Pyromancer, and that's going to do it. Yeah, yeah. You red decks and your ability to not think. Uh, let's bring in Walk the Pl uh, Moan of Craving, take out Walk the Plank. I like Golden Demise in here as well. Scavenger is okay to bring in. Predator. Probably fair to take out Finality and bring in Negate. Probably fair to take out the Dream Eaters again and play Negate. Again, just bringing in more Negate. Actually, let's take out the Negates here. We don't want to bring too many in. Let's hit submit. <laughs> Not sure where Josh is. He has a serious job, so yeah. We're bringing in the gates here for those uh, Wizards Lightnings, the Risk Factors, those kind of things. You know, this is a red deck, so they've got Risk Factors. Science has proven that gingers do not bite, bite unprovoked. How dare you. Some people here actually have jobs where they can't watch streams but actually have to work for some reason. I know, right? God, Zaka, what is, what is real job? That's what I want to know. That's what I need to know, and now! Goodness. I think the top end here is I think this is fine. We're definitely adding to our bottom end with the uh, the cards. Your work. Mm -hmm. Careful. What's your favorite art for Negate minus Oath of the Gatewatch art? Probably, I really like the Ixalan art here. I think it's very flashy. So that's, that's my answer. Getting some in here for the opponent. Just waiting on them now. Oh, I forget that the uh, the webcam is now on my, my desk. So if I shake anything, it, it also moves the, the webcam. Play first? Yes. Uh, This is probably fine. Four mana. Demise. This is good. Play Overgrown Tomb, and then just start playing stuff every turn. Seems decent. Really love Golden Demise in the sand. Now, the problem with Golden Demise, of course, is that it doesn't deal with the Chain Whirler, but we have enough stuff in the deck. Should be fine. Firebrand for them. For one. Problem. And, of course, we're bringing in Scavenger here to uh, Drown Catacombs to make sure that we can do life gain, passive life gain. Let's go the Eraser here. Treasure Chest, Steamkin, and Lava Runner. So we're getting rid of the Steamkin. That's a pretty obvious pick for us. Moan of Craving off the top. Absolutely keep that on top. Both of those are very good. Oops. Both of those are for us. I prefer the cool action with the mute colors, especially with the shell as a shield. Yep. That's cool. I gravitate towards the Ace Spellbook art. That's also pretty good too, yeah. Treasure Map hitting for the opponent here, getting in for one again. So we could go Craving here, but I think we want to go with a Cemetery Play the Sanity and see if they will use a Shock against it. You mind they have a Shock in their hand, so. It would be a better plan for them to play Shock here on the Thief of Sanity. Good, okay. Better towards our creature than to our life total. That's what I'm looking for here. Actually, the Lava Runner doesn't actually get... Uh, haste here, so they're just hitting in for one. And now we can play Golden Demise and feel really good about it. There we go. Alright, now we have a huge upper hand on the because they only have two cards. Now, Treasure Map will help them 
as far as giving them card advantage. Uh, so we want to be able to keep up Negate and probably Moment of Craving next turn. Be a little more control oriented. Um, I am aware of, yeah, Pyramatch. So we're just going to Moment of Craving that and then hold up a Negate. Yeah, it's Bowman of Craving this. Hold up that blue mana for Negate next turn. Pass. Scry, uh-huh. Makes sense. The only thing we could see maybe would be a Risk Factor or a Flame of Ca Five mana here. Another treasure map is actually interesting, so we're going to get rid of that. This gives them too much mana, uh... Opportunity. Yeah, they're gonna scry with the treasure map there. Yeah, we're gonna play the car the Death Gorge Scavenger next turn now. So they did thing on on the play, but they will be able to draw two cards next turn thanks to the treasure cove. Trophy's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, if we want to get rid of the treasure cove and reduce their value, let's do that. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if they'll scoop to that. They might actually scoop to that. This means that they're top decking and they're only drawing one card a turn. Now this does slow us down as far as being able to play out the scavenger, but it gets rid of their only card draw engine. So let's see. They actually passed turn here. Let's go with a land into a scavenger. Let's see if there's a removal spell hitting that scavenger. Let's see, we gain life through creatures. So let's get rid of the uh, Pyromancer there. Go to 19. Pass. Yeah, I love that Assassin's Trophy can hit permanence. It's like the best thing. Two cards in hand for the opponent here. Ending hitting the Scavenger before attacks. That's fair. Uh, we're going to say yes, because we want to play out uh, Tyrant. Now, this will probably trigger a uh, scoop. Like, there's nothing they can do against that except for block it with uh, two Chain Whirlers. Land drop. Phoenix. Ooh, Frenzy. That's actually a pretty good card for them. Go for a Karn here. Interesting. We did not see these. I did not see this coming. Firebrand. Frenzy is, is an amazing card because it basically turns them into a ridiculous deck. So... We're going to give them the Mountain, and they have the Carnage Tyrant off the top. But we're going to kill Karn, so they're never going to get that Commander. Let's hit Karn here. Yeah, Karn's Tyrant is definitely a three-turn clock, but we want to make sure that uh, they don't have the option to continue hitting us with stuff as well. But Frenzy is a... This card is better than Treasure Map, honestly. Because if they have the mana like this, they can just play stuff forever. Another Carnage Tyrant is also very good. So we actually might win this just by default by playing the second Carnage Tyrant. The Karn. Alright. Go plus Karn. Let's see what they get. Shock us. Okay. Treasure map. Again, they're just playing off the top of their deck right now. They have two mana left. Making a construct and block. We're just gonna hit them directly because it's lethal. And they have to block. I uh, wish we had drawn like a Contempt or a, a Ritual of Soot or something. That would have been great. Hmm. 14, 12 on the board. Untargetable seems all right, I guess. That's right. Um, so we can hit them both and take them down pretty substantially. Lethal. They're going to block double uh, both with both of these creatures. But they will be able to negative two Karn and get that Commander. Two Carnage Tyrants is such a wombo wombo. It really is. It just really is. 
Oh, they're only blocking one of them. Going to two. All right. Even with the uh, commander play, I, I don't see how they come back from this. We're at 14 life, though, so... Never know. With this much mana, they could always do something crazy. Because they have to cast this for five. They'll have three, uh, four available and be able to do two points. So, lightning off the top. Against Frenzy here just makes it kind of... Like, it's very difficult to tell where we're, where we're going in the match. Land drop for the opponent. Firebrand. Two more points of damage to us. We had 14 life, remember. So let's see if they can do 14 this turn. This Frenzy just... They also have to pay mana to play stuff from their hand, right? So they actually can't play that. Correct? Yeah. That's right, 13. You're correct. I just figured that out. So they actually lose here. Yeah. Good. Good. Um, it's probably fair enough to bring in more Assassin's Trophies. Let's take out the Notion Reigns. And I uh, just hit Submit. Remember, Assassin's Trophies does give them land, but if getting rid of Experimental Frenzy is probably worth it. This deck makes me when Rakdos comes out. Yeah, Caleb, they're going to get a lot of support. And uh, again, red, red is just... Uh, red is too... I don't know how they keep making amazing red cards. Like, it just it makes no sense to me. It's like, we've complained for years now that red has been a terrible plague on the uh, on the format. And they, it just continually is still amazing on the draw here. You think Dream Eater's pretty good? You're probably right, Elliot. I should have probably put, put, that, put that in over maybe the Doom Whisperer. Doesn't Trophy make Frenzy better? Um, well, it, I guess it does and it doesn't. It does in that it does give them a land drop and they're able to play their spells again from their hand. Um, but it doesn't in that they just can't play from the top of their deck. So. What's up, sideboard? Welcome to the stream, man. It's been a while. Let's go with a land here and I'm going to go with a, a uh, Thought Erasure. I'm going to play something to burn me. They're not. Ooh. Yeah, let's get rid of a Phoenix. Leave a Sanity on the top here. Hmm. I think we want to actually pitch this to the Graveyard thanks to the Phoenix play from their hand next turn. Let's pitch this into the Graveyard. Everyone's favorite whiskey drinking streamer with the best mustache. Yeah. Any further fringes will just get better and better by having lands fetch out of the way, though. I guess Saka, but I mean, like, them being able to chain stuff from the top of their deck because they can is uh, way more uh, hurtful than them just hitting us once or twice with the uh, extra land. Haven't done a bourbon stream in a while. Oh, I love me some bourbon. Swamp for us. Since it's so early, we probably want to go Notion Rain. Let's do that. We're definitely going to go with a Rekindling Phoenix next turn. We're going to throw that to the graveyard. Let's top that. Love to have had a... Uh, attempt to get into just then. <laughs> I remember. I remember. <laughs> Alright, strike to us. No problem. Land drop, hit Phoenix. And then hit Lava Runner. We're one taking us to 12. So a Contempt off the top would be pretty fantastic now. Please give me Contempt. Not hit Contempt. Mm. So the answer here is that we can go Scavenger into a Rekindling Phoenix, gain 2 life, go to 14, then take a possible 4, go to 10. Doom Whisper next turn will really help on uh, facilitating the Phoenix, but I do think... Uh, you know what? Let's let's hold up Assassin's Trophy and hold up the Negate. So we'll, we'll do that instead. So we could go with a Phoenix hit on the Assassin's Trophy if we really need to. We'll see. Three cards in hand. Yeah, they're going for a hit first. Hmm. Let's go for a Assassin's Trophy here on the Phoenix. Now this does give them a land, and uh, of course the the creature can come back. So we're just trying to mitigate damage until we get Doom Whisper out next turn. 
We can also eat it, but they have two uh, phoenixes in the graveyard, so it doesn't really matter that much. If we had Sentinel, Sentinel Totem, it would be pretty great, but... Let's see. Ritual Soot is amazing. That's the play, that's the play here for us. That's that, that's a good way to get rid of Phoenix. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, now we're back to where we, we started. So, Steamkin is an amazing play for them. Ouch. Empire Mancer, so this is now 2-2. Two, two. Um, Doom Whisper, though, is very good at being able to uh, trump both of these cards, so it should be fine. Let's see. Catacombs, that's fine. Let's go Whisperer here. Great play that cleans things up, yeah. All right, now they have to have two burn spells to kill the Whisperer. Um, treasure map, it's fine. The one thing that I, I'm not really understanding is I'm, I'm kind of con confused why they're not using Flame of Keld instead of Treasure Map. Flame of Keld feeds into Runaway Steamkin and feeds situations like this where they have lots of value. We're not going to surveil a Doom Whisperer, we just want to play more of them. Connor's Terrence, pretty amazing. Let's see. Do we want to play Scavenger, Hold Up, Negate? I don't think we do. Yeah, it doesn't work well with Frenzy. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like, to me, Keld works a little better. I do think that Chapter 3, though, we're going to pass turn. We're not going to attack in first. Since we're at 9 life, I'm going to be a little, little, little safe. I do think on Chapter 3 of Flame of Keld, if you have Frenzy in the battlefield, if you get a lot of, like, Wizards, Lightnings, Lightning Strikes, Shocks, those kind of things, it could win the game for you. But that's, uh, that's weird. Because R&D wanted to give depth to Mono Red. Maybe a mistake, yeah. Pyromancer for them. Yeah, so this is my, this is my fear. They play something like this, where it's value and on our life total. So we want to definitely play Scavenger next turn. Let's go for a Thought Erasure pre-combat. See if they have a spell. They don't have anything. Okay. Throw that into the graveyard. Let's go Scavenger. Oh no! I tapped! I mistapped! Mitsa, hold up blue mana. That was a mistake on my part. Let's get rid of a Phoenix out of the graveyard gain some life. They do have enough mana to kill the or creatures on the battlefield to kill the Carnage Tarrant if they so choose. Let's see if they do that. No? They had seven power there. That was a big mistake on tapping my blue mana. That's not a huge deal, obviously, but it can matter uh, to Runaway Steam Can as far as a, uh, a way to gain them. Yeah, treasure map off the top here, upkeep, getting some treasure. Let's see how this play works out. I'm assuming that we're going to have to block the Steamkin with the Whisper here. Yeah, we're fighting, killing the Scavenger. This is going as a 4-4. And then they swing out. They could, anyway. Let's see what the other card in their hand is. I see that Negate would have helped that, that play there. Five, holding up in the gate here. Again, I'm offering the trade if they want it. Okay. They're trading one creature, that's fine. Going down to one, that would have been lethal there. Holding up the gate in case they top deck a burn spell. That's all we're trying to do right now. One with nothing. I wish one with nothing was in standard. That'd be fun. Top deck. Draw another card with Cove here. What is happening? Yeah, draw a card. They didn't need to tap that mountain for some reason. But they did. Yeah! Nice! We got the win there. Alright, alright. 
So we were one for one with this deck, which is not bad. I'm happy with this deck. I do think some tinkering needs to be done for sure on the uh, the Notion Rain situation. I think that's probably not a very good card in this deck list. I probably would like Chemistry's Insight more than this, and I think Nightfall Predator is also another card that probably shouldn't be in this deck list. Maybe something else. Maybe just more trophies in the main board, or uh, maybe one more Golden Demise instead. I think Remote of Craving is way better than Walk the Plank. Even Walk the Plank is just straight up removal. It is two black mana, so pretty difficult to kind of get off sometimes. Obviously, we have a lot of black mana in, in all of the uh, mana here, but I, uh, I don't know. Early in the match, this is kind of difficult to pull off. Treasure Map is just a better card for this deck than Notion Rain. I kind of agree with that. I think Notion Rain is a good card, but I do think that uh, Treasure Map or Chemistry's Insight, something like that. Just something that where it's not like doing damage to you. Cast better than Plank. Yeah, I can agree with that. There's one cast down in here. Early removal. That's basically what these two mana card spells are. Um, probably more Moment of Craving, though, depending on your meta, if you're going for more aggro. So... To be frank, I brewed up this list when I got home from the bar, so it definitely <laughs> needs tinkering. I got you, Eric. I like the list a lot. I might uh, do a, a, a deck tech. So this is kind of my idea before we get into the next deck. I was actually thinking about instead of doing the Fan Friday streams, maybe doing like you guys submit decks, kind of like how Saffron Olive does it. And we actually do like a video, like an actual deck tech and matches video on the deck that I pick uh, and make it just the Fan Friday deck. Instead of me doing three decks, we do two matches each. I do one deck, but I make an actual video. I don't stream it, but I make an actual video uh, of the deck actually performing how it is. Um, kind of like, a, it's kind of like a compromise because that way we actually get like a real video out of it. Um, we're going to go for the Boros, the Mintops smash deck next. This one was submitted by Zaka, I believe, right? Yeah, by Zaka. Got some Goblin Baronets. We got some, uh, Stalwarts, Lightning Strike, Challengers, Fight with Fire, Deafening Clarion, uh, Tajik. Uh, we also have a Johnny here. Erotic Cyclops is the main card in here. Aurelia, then of course Integrity and Invention, and then Invert, Invert, Invent, and then of course Response Resurgence, and then the sideboard, we have Ixalan's Binding, Cell the Wreckage, Cleansing Nova, Lava Coil, Jaya, 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 uh, Hotly, and Chaos One. So let's get into it. Mintops, the Smash Maker. It's like Mintos, but not. If only we could get Terran tanks to play them. <laughs> yeah. Baronets, or is it Bannerets? Or instead of Baronets, I don't know. That's my Saffron Olive moment. Um, opening hand is not terrible. I like the removal in our hand. Would love another land though. Add Honor Guard to this list. Uh, let's go with a Sacred Foundry, pass. Planes, and again, pass. Looks like we're going up against some Orza. Overgrown Tomb, actually not Orzov, so... Ooh, fancy. We're just going to Lightning Strike that immediately. Not going to worry about these token producers. Let's go with the lands and pass turn. I'm going to hit uh, two, actually, instead of six. Because I can't say GP... <laughs> Say, ooh, Seder and Channer, very interesting. Die. Left up retreat is very good. Let's go with a Ajani. Pass turn. Five cards in hand. Another Woodland Cemetery or a Woodland Cemetery. That's a first. Right of Bells and Lock. Interesting. Try to go Boros Challenger here, and then plus, and then we uh, pass turn, and then uh, definitely Clarion next turn is amazing because it just removes all their clerics. Abzanix, maybe I'm not sure. This is definitely an interesting list. Or Abzan Enchanter, I think it's Abzan Enchanter. I don't know what opponent's doing, but I like it. I like it too. These clerics be able to tap this turn is pretty cool. They have four mana so far because of these clerics. Able to do a lot of stuff. Is this a binding or a conclave tribunal? 
they mistap. happening jank is the spice of life absolutely eric oh wood shaper here okay yeah clarion is gonna be amazing next turn i'm really excited <laughs> uh i want to use you right now oh my god just keep playing stuff keep keep it coming so yes Let's go with the Clarion here. And then get in for four with Lifelink. Oh, oh my gosh. Opponent's scooping it up. That's amazing. I mean, obviously, they would have to do that because of the way we just did them, but. The sec already top, top tier. Tier one. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> Having a random uh, Friday off and catching the game is great. I miss watching this live. Nice. All right. Let's agree to that. Uh, play, yes. And here, trolls and sitting on it not being great. Uh, this hand is bad. This is all right. Keep here. Let's see what we have on the top. This is fine. Not amazing. <laughs> Men tops. <laughs> Let's go with a uh, mountain into a uh, banneret. Not a baronet, a banneret. Don't understand Cyclops in the, in the deck? Why not, Elliot? It's amazing. It's the best, it's the reason to run. I'm just kidding. It's just here to be random. <laughs> Goodness. Of course, you guys, if you're liking the stream, make sure to like the video. We really appreciate that. Helps us out on the channel. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. World's Challenger on the top. We're going to go the planes into a attack first. See if they want to use the removal. Do I still do Twitch? Uh, I was doing Twitch for a while. I did it for a week last week straight. And then um, this week I'm actually focusing on making my own channel for random other video game stuff and all that. So that's coming soon. Go with a stalwart first. Challenger is more important to me than stalwart. It's also a 2-2 first tracker though, so it's very good. Yeah, a shock hitting that is pretty, pretty likely. I'm subbed on like three accounts. That's funny. Well, it's just it's just uh, MPGO traders for all my YouTube comment content, but I have a, another channel that I'm putting together for uh, just me for just random video game stuff. Seven six tyrant all day long is great. Yeah, let's get it for one. The charter coursing there is pretty good. Arc like Phoenix, looks like an is it Drake deck. See, what they're gonna do here. Play a Drake. Yeah. That's fair. I think it's probably fair to get in for hits here. I'll sub to that. What are the games you play? I mean, I, I play everything else basically. I'm making my way through uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. Uh, but I've been playing just a ton of. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. You guys already know that. Who win to fight one plumpy Cyclops or Carney T? That money's on Carney T. I wish I could sub for multiple streamers, but I'm a barista who's addicted to fresh cardboard smell. Uh, very sad. Let's see if they block with the, uh, the banner right here. They do. We're going to trade. This kind of makes me nervous because that trade means they probably have another Drake in their hand. We'll see. No, oh, they do Discovery. Okay. That's a Phoenix Dex if I ever saw one. Absolutely. Arclight Phoenix is in the graveyard here, so. Play Call of Duty and PUBG. Nice. I have never actually played PUBG seriously. I've played it like maybe one time. I kind of want to. Yeah, there's a Discovery, Fury, Fury, and then Phoenix is coming in, which is sucky because it's a 3-2 hasty. They're actually going to use it for blocks, which is weird. 
I had the mana for both of these things, but I don't. Let's get in here for uh, some damage. Keep in mind I can pump the Mentor. Or the uh, Challenger, not the Mentor. Don't see why, yeah, okay, good. So I don't see why you would want to block that. How has Red Dead Redemption 2 anyway heard its great open world game, but has nowhere near as much character and world depth as the first Red Dead Redemption? Um, I'm probably about like maybe two or three hours into the game. It's all right. It's it's really slow and deliberate, which is kind of weird compared to all the other games where you know you pick up stuff, it just kind of like happens. Where in this game, it's like there's like an individual animation for all this stuff, which is really cool. But also obnoxious, <laughs> if, if that makes sense because it really slows down how you play the game. I'm not really sure I, I like that just yet. Wish we had one more mana for definitely Clarion, a Phoenix. PUBG is to Fortnite as Magic is to Pokemon. Both are good, one is just better. Which one's better in your eyes? I'm gonna go with a block here. Again, which is fine. This forces them to play out lots of cards next turn. Warlord's Fury and all that. No foam cappuccinos make me rich. Jesus. Obvious Pokemon Terran. Oh, really? Lava Coil. That sucks. But it does mean that uh, definitely Clarion next turn would be pretty good. See, there's one Phoenix in the graveyard right now. Maximize velocity. So only one Phoenix comes back. That was a joke, Terran. It's magic. <laughs> it's hard, man. Hard. It's hard to read jokes on on there. I just I just kind of read the text and go, oh, okay, that's, that's your that's your opinion. I got you. Uh, let's go with a Clarion here. getting rid of the phoenix Pokemon definitely has a much better R&D group and supplemental products <laughs> I can agree with that for sure that makes more sense to me Let's see five cards in hand for the opponent ooh 14-4 ooh that's not good We need like a lightning strike and a Clarion. Discovery. Pokemon probably sells 10 times as much product. I would definitely say that in the video game realm. I don't know about the paper product realm. Um, not 100% sure on that. Blackout is good. I got Call of Duty, but still. Ah, oh, there's a gift top retreat here. Hmm. We can try for a hit. They might just block me. We don't have enough mana to pump twice. Yeah, I think we're dead here. They got to get one one card into the graveyard. Yeah, we're dead. I'm just going to concede here because it's it's not worth it. It's not worth it to see them go through the play. Let's see what we have in the sideboard here. Lava Coil is very good in this matchup. So we're bringing that in. Um, Hurt's not that great in this matchup. I like settling this matchup as well. Let's just take out Ajani to begin with. I, I'm not a big fan of Ajani at all. Um, I know he likes Erratic Cyclops. We're, we're definitely taking those two out. <laughs> at least two of them out. Bring it in to settle the wreckage and a binding. Takes a bit. Chaos One, do it. God. 
target opponent exits card from the top of their library until they have an instance for the bottom of their library. Sure. Let's bring, let's take out Erratic Cyclops and bring in a Chaos Wand. Giant in the side in hindsight is pretty bad too, yeah. Just one copy. I will, we'll do both, man. We gotta get that consistency. If you put one copy of something in your deck list, like this in, in uh, intervention here, it's just like, why? You, you will never see this. You'll never see the card. Palpatine, Palpatine voice. Do it. Have I told you the story of Darth Plagueis? Um, this is fine. Put the wand in. Chaos one needs to be direfully Daredevil. Yeah, I agree with that. Let's go with a Sulphur Falls and pass turn. We keep getting these aggro hands, which is fine, but not an amazing reason to, uh... oh no, 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 no. I hit six by accident. Okay, thank you. Let's go to main phase two, please. Thank you. All right. Woo. Woo. Let's go challenger here. Now pass turn. Something, something, chaos wand. <laughs> Seven cards for the opponent. They got the mana. Lava coil, that's fair. That's fair. That's a good card, right? Not like I wanted to play the game or anything. <laughs> Let's go with a uh, stalwart here. Pass turn. Integrity here is not bad. We might actually hit five here, and uh, if they go with a shock or something, yeah, we're gonna go integrity. Have it survive the encounter. I think that's fair. Tormenting Voice here. Arclight Phoenix. Build of Ruin into a Stalwart. And then Chaos Wand and Prosper. And Propser? Opponent is a bully trying to kill all our dudes. Sort of. We're going to hold up response here for that uh, Phoenix, because they're most likely going to get off enough spells next turn to get a Phoenix out. Maybe even two. Isn't it funny how this was like nothing when the set came out, and then all of a sudden it became like this modern staple card? It's like, what? What? Yep, can't do anything of that. Wow, they just had removal forever. Okay. cards in hand. We have a Cell of Wreckage in hand. Would like to get this Field of Ruin for a white mana. Can't yet. Is it Bullies? Now I'm Google Play. <laughs> that sounds like a realistic uh, thing. Card of course from the opponent. They haven't played a dual land at all, so Field of Ruin really is uh, suffering right now. Enigma Drake. Very good. Obviously, response can handle it, so it's not a big deal. Would just really love a, uh, a white mana. Come on, deck. I don't have anything else. I love ArcLight. I pre-ordered four right before release for like 25-ish bucks. Wow, that's awesome. Modern Zoo Tycoon now on Steam. It's Fury. Sold them for 60? Nice. Yep. Get that out of here. Still no secondary land source for them. Come on. You know, white mana is so bad. That's not what I need! That's not what I need! Alright. Opponent, please play a dual land. 
We're gonna die. We're gonna die! Hmm. Yep, we'll take we'll take almost half of our life total. That's fine. That seems good, right? <sighs> okay. Thank you, Lord above. All right. We've got we can go double Clarion here. I don't think it's worth that. You know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. You know what? No, it's not. It's not worth it. It's not. It's not. Mm. See, the problem here is if we go Clarion, Clarion, and they have any kind of counter, which I don't think they will, then we get rid of the Drake. Next turn, they'll be able to play maybe a Phoenix. It's a really hard play for us because we can't do both. We can't play two Clarions or hold up a settle. So I think it's... Probably okay to hold up Settle here. It's really close, though. Having three cards in hand makes this a really difficult match for us. Ah. If they have a counter, you're dead no matter what. I agree, 13. Yeah, you're right. I'm just thinking they may want to do, like, Warlord's Fury, Crash Through, that kind of stuff pre-combat. So if we go settle here, we actually don't die to the damage they're about to do. Good. They get a land, four cards in hand. They just play another Drake, which is fine because we'll just go Clarion, Clarion, and get rid of that one because they tapped out the way they did. Which is good. We all could also do fight with fire, couldn't we? One, two, three, four. We have six here. Five damage. Goodbye. Cool. Deck doesn't run much counter. You got good odds here. Yeah. Dive down does beat us. I agree. Which is a card that you run. Hey, there's a Sulphur Falls. playing stuff that we can get rid of. Let's go for a... Uh, doesn't matter what land we get this turn, but having another white one is fine. Aurelia is really good here. Pass turn. This doesn't matter right now, so passing turn back. Definitely Clarion with Aurelia does help a lot. Um, again, they only have one Phoenix in the graveyard right now, so. We can all think, oh, and Turtonwall for the silly duck. Hmm. Oh no! Bolt. Wow. They have two Phoenixes in the deck, in the uh, side, or graveyard now. That hurts so bad. I guess they've been holding that for a while. That's cool, but as soon as they top deck a lightning strike, we're dead, which is really unfortunate. If Challenger survives a turn, we can actually do uh, Creon gain lifelink. That would be fine. Yeah, we're just dead, aren't we? Yep. Yep. We're just dead. All right. All right. Let's see one more match with the. Uh, the Mint Tops, the Smash Maker deck. Five color control, nice. Play first, yes. Opening hand is not bad. Slow. Let's go with Keep because of the Boros Challenger. Challenger coming in tapped. Mounted from the opponents into a crash through. Are we playing the same person? 
What is happening? No, we're not. We're not playing the same person. They just have a similar deck. Great. Great. Okay, eight cards in hand, going four. Warlord's Fury. This is definitely another Is It deck. <laughs> Opponent needed a second land, they didn't get it. And they're scooping completely. That's funny. All right, we'll try again. Yeah, check different person, same deck. Yep. But they didn't get their second land, so they scooped it up. Uh, four lands, five lands, actually. We can try this hand. It's a little aggressive as far as um, land. Being on the draw helps it, though. God bless the USA. <laughs> then Zaka. Sacred Foundry, coming in tapped. All right, five cards in hand. Got the Cyclops there. Let's go for a Banneret. Eighty all garage sales here in Germany are always just old garbage. Really, nobody needs. That's basically garage sales in America too. Although you can find like really good ones uh, where like people are selling video games for like a dollar, and you're like, this is a twenty dollar game. What? What? Go with an attack here. See if they want to block. We can pump or we can go response. They might be thinking that we're offering a trade. Sure. See, now we're going to hold up response for that attack back. Nani? Jeek is good. Never saw a single video game or interesting toy, card, or otherwise of, on any uh, of them. Wow, that's crazy. I'm gonna respond to the Tajik here. He doesn't get a counter, right? Because it's dead. Or does it? I'm assuming it doesn't, but let's see. Oh, it does, it does, even if it does die, okay. That's cool, I guess. My last good yard sale buy was a copy of Final Fantasy Tactics for PS1. That's an amazing buy. Great buy. All right, let's go Silver Falls here into a Tajik, because we're basically playing the same deck. Getting in for five. Hey, kitchen. How's your Friday? Ooh, binding on Tajik. Not good. I don't think we have any uh, non permanent removal in the, in the game one. Oh, that was a yawn. Ooh. That was that was a serious yawn. Let's go with a field of ruin here into a erratic cyclops. Getting it for two. Zero eight trampler is uh, pretty amazing. Also, definitely Clarion pretty good too. Next turn. Being able to mentor this is also pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sort of wish I could go Clarion their side and not our side. There's a lightning strike. We'll lose our banner right here, but this is a really fun play. We're going to sack the Bodyguard. Challenger is really damaged. And it's obviously going to be uh, indestructible. 
But we get to attack in with a 5-8, uh, a so that's fun. With lifelink. Ooh, they can pump it, though. So we actually won't. Don't want to do that. I messed, I messed up there. Yeah, we, we want to pass. Because of the pump potential. That would have forced a trade. Obviously, their challenger would, be, would still be alive. That was a bad play on our part. Let's get rid of their uh, foundry there and get a white mana for us. Need to bring an air horn whenever you play Clary Clarion. That'd be fun. Pump wouldn't have been enough to kill Cyclops. Well, the Clarion did uh, three damage to it, so it had five health left. And that would have been three, four, that would have been seven. So it would have been dead. Oh, you're right. It wouldn't have killed Cyclops. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. You're right. It wouldn't have killed Cyclops. What is math? What is math? Kitchen, are you no longer doing uh, Twitch? I'm uh, focusing on trying to build my own personal YouTube channel. So just kind of taking a break from this week. Next week to try and work on that. Cyclops would have survived but uh, done nothing on attack. Yeah. You said it, not me. <laughs> Math is for blockers. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Johnny coming in, making uh, Cyclops pretty powerful is uh, pretty good too. Well, not not powerful, but giving it a plus one, plus one counter is nice. Also, another Dauntless Bodyguard is really frustrating. go a 1-9 and a 2-2 two, two. and uh, I guess we'll pass turn for now it had lifelink yeah one card in hand for the opponent let's see you definitely want to just keep plusing with a Johnny here Yeah, we can definitely mentor the Cyclops with uh, the banner right here, which is fun. Do you play EDH, Taryn? Uh, I can, I, like, have the time. It's the, one of the few formats I don't really mess with that much. That sucks there. It's a 210 is pretty hilarious, though. So we'll be able to kill, to not kill, but uh, damage the Ajani next turn. Pretty sure barring removal, Ajani just wins the game. They're going to attack out here. Oh, they're not. Okay. Felt like they should have there, but they didn't. Feelings on Vivian in the format in uh, standard right now. I think Vivian's pretty powerful. I think Vivian is too expensive uh, to be like amazing. But I do think Vivian is pretty powerful right now in the format. I really wish she was four mana instead of five. Just it just makes it so much harder. Is she five mana or is she six mana? I can't remember. She's five mana. Yeah. I think she's one one mana too expensive, personally. Do I play Legacy? Not that often. I play it on the uh, stream sometimes. Yeah, Vivian's five mana. If she was four mana, she'd be amazing. This is fun here. Um, so we can't go negative seven this turn. I think it's really hilarious. Or we could go definitely Clarion. Let's just go negative seven. 
to rework her ability or loyalty if she was four. Yeah. doing this because even though it does kill our stalwart here of course i'll just sack this to the challenger this creates a three three yeah we should be okay to block here her down tick is amazing and her uptick a card is advantage if you ult her you win she's good at five i guess i mean i just think that like she, she's such it's such a hard situation for her because it's really good sometimes, but also kind of terrible other times. And that's why I'm not a big fan of it. Let's see, we have, if we attack in, there will be six, one, two, three. They can pump one time, one card in hand, so four, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if they have a removal spell, then our Cyclops dies. He's basically a four drop away considering she's in green, yeah. They go to seven, we go to 20. Yeah, I think Tyrant's better than her most of the time, uh, but I think Vivian is very good in, potential, in different situations, especially against the Doom Whisperer matchup. Vivian is great. Man, so many freaking bodyguards. So annoyed at this card. I wish I had some type of non-permanent removal right now. Anything would do. A binding, a Conclave Tribunal, a Baffling End, literally anything. Casual six life swing, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna block that. It don't matter. Keep in mind, we make cats every instep now from the rest of the game. So we're just going to wait a couple turns, make some cats, and then win. Wish we weren't continuing to top deck land. Let's see, let's go for a 311 attack here. Yeah, I guess so. I do think Vivian was really undervalued whenever she first came out and got way better as the meta evolved. Cats for the win. That's right. I can't believe the opponent let us, like, ultimate Ajani. That's strange. I feel like that was a mistake on his part. Unless he has Clarion in his hand or something. I guess that could be the case. I mean, I would just scoop at this point in the match. It was me. Unless you have Settle the Wreckage in your deck right now. If that's the case, then I guess you want to wait for Settle. That Alpha attack. That Alpha Investments attack, yeah! Vivian also makes board rights weaker. That's true, I guess. Let's attack in without Cyclops. See if they have uh, something. This is doing two points of damage, driving them down to two. The opponent tried to stop the ult with Lightning Strike. They did not. I did not. Shock on another. Okay. We're still going down to two here. They even had three creatures to be able to attack in on a Johnny for a turn. They didn't do it. So I'm not sure what the thought process was behind that, other than they may they may have settled, but yeah, that's a scoop. Let's take an invert. Um, bring in binding. Uh, bring in settle. Nah, we're good. we're fine with just bindings. I think lava cool can come in though. Over fight with fire. Do 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 do. Um, we go with Hotly here. Bringing one Hotly over and a Johnny. Get cement. Get Cyclops. <laughs> the opponent did basically fall to the erratic Cyclops that game. 
Yeah, I brought in one Hotly here. We could bring out maybe your response to Resurgence and bring in another Hotly, but I want to make sure we value uh, single target removal in this particular matchup since it's basically Boros aggro. Feel about red white hotly? I think it's pretty good. Throwing constant three threes in their way is annoying for them, for sure. I agree. I do think that hotly needs to be plus one before she starts throwing three threes because of the uh, rampant lightning strike going on in the format. So that's my two cents. Make sure she's at five loyalty before you start throwing uh, three threes. Uh, this is probably fine. I wish I had another land, but we're on the draw. So this is decent. Ah, the best song, the, uh, the Hedgehog 2. Uh, we're going to go with a Banneret first. Be aggressive. Instead of the Sacred uh, yeah, sacred Foundry. Do we see a shock? That's what I want to know. Yep, we saw it. Yeah, see, we shot. Oh, no removal, let me see. Hatchling. Ooh, no land again. Let's go for Boros uh, Challenger here. We're not going to block the Hatchling. But I would love a land off the top for a binding. Eventually. An Aurelia, eventually. Seems good. Passing turn, interesting. I feel like they'd want to attack in because... 1-1 one, one turning into a 3-3, three, three potentially. There's a third land. There we go. Let's see. I'm not going to attack in because they may have a shock in hand, and if we go trade here, they'll go shock, so we're not going to do that. We're going to be a little conservative. Unless they have strike. If they have strike, yeah, it doesn't matter. That's fine. See, I'd rather them do that waste a removal spell that turn instead of... Uh, Having us trigger their 3-3, three, three, and then, yeah, that's fine. See, definitely clear on this turn means we actually do a lot of good damage. I prefer Mystic Cave Zone, but that's just me. Kitchen, I think Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 2's soundtrack, every single song on that soundtrack is immaculate, honestly. The same way about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and even Sonic Mania, the new the new game that came out. I think that soundtrack's really good, too. And we'll go binding on the Tajik, but we did not. So we're going to go clear on here. This does mean that the uh, Raptor survives because of the non uh, was it indirect damage, basically, non combat damage. But it does get rid of Tajik, so that's all I care about. Not draw all in, clear on to kill Tajik, then drop a Cyclops and win again. Risk factor, we're going to say. <sighs> I know they draw cards. I hate risk factor so much. Such a such a terrible card that do an amazing card because of jumpstart. Priest of Awakening here for the for the uh, or Priest of the Awakening, not Awakening. Doo -doo -doo. I love that music, but Mystic Cave Zone is my favorite. I got you. I feel you. It's coming up in the in the soundtrack, I'm sure. Planes into a Let's go binding on the uh, the raptor here, because I think that's hilarious. And if they have a shock, they'll want to use it on the raptor, like right now. Do they really have a shock? They don't. That's funny. Okay. The so next turn, we might just go Aurelia, or we'll go Johnny. I think both of those are fine. Reveal a dinosaur card from your hand. What do you got? Another hatchling. But you can't play it because I binded it. I binded it. I feel the same about Risk Factor. Bad card, but good card. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. It's like it's like the best bad worst. Like, not bad worst. It's like the best good bad card, if that makes any sense. It's just really good because even if you're ahead or behind the match, it doesn't matter. You're going to be able to do either like four damage to someone's face twice or... It's so much card advantage, you're going to win the, win the game. See, binding here on Tajik is really good. But uh, we're losing life slowly but surely. But locking down their big threats like that is really fun. Boros dinosaurs, what is this madness? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's try binding on the Tajik here. Nice. Last turn. 
We're going down to four, which they'll, they'll want a risk factor. So they'll go priest, hit me, go to four, and then risk factor. I think Binding is vastly underplayed. I think Binding is a really good card, and even though it's sorcery speed removal, it's very good because it re reduces the chance that you'll see the same card again. So I think it's one of the best cards in the deck right now. Yeah, we're dead to Strike and Shock, I agree. That's why I want to play Aurelia into Daphne and Clara next turn. Let's go for a... Oh. Let's go Challenger and Banner it. Man, this bodyguard makes uh, the Clarion really sucky. Passing turn here. Having two threats on the board state's pretty good here, but again, we're really struggling to get around the bodyguard. I would have loved a land drop there and then play the banneret, but take what you can get, I guess. Uh huh, search for dinosaur, reveal it, put it into your hand. What are you gonna grab? Another raptor hatchling? That might mean they have a follow pixel on its binding. I wish we had something else besides a Clarion here, or... Opinions on Izoni Thousand Died. It's all right, James. I think you have to build the deck around the card, and that's not really a fun situation most of the time. I really love to play a Johnny here, um, or Aurelia. I think both of those are pretty good ideas. We're just so close to Shock Strike Light range that I want to do Deafening Clarion here. But I don't have a way to... Uh... I think we want to play Aurelia for another remo like another blocker. And then we wait a turn. I think that's, that's the play. We can definitely hit with, with Challenger here because it'll be a, uh, a three Trample Vigilance creature. No! I accidentally tapped that of a combat. Didn't mean to do that. But we can definitely just wait. It's fine. It's not going to be in the world. They're at 26 life. So I'm really just hoping that they don't have a Shock Strike situation. Land drop from the opponent. Challenger. Okay, good. So this means that if they don't have anything else in their hand besides the two Raptor Hatchlings, which we know that they have thanks to the Priest and the uh, other one they keep showing... Um, then we're going to go clear on this turn and be pretty silent. Hmm, we need one more mana for that. Let's go with a Clarion here. Make Aurelia have all the stuff it normally has. Hit for four, get a range of strike and shock, and we're back in business. Cool. What's up, A? Anthony? I'm thinking of trying my Golgari deck, that's why I ask. I got you, James. I just think Izoni is like really expensive, very specific as far as mana goes. Um, I'm not sure if it's good enough to be like super playable. I think it's a good card, though. Go for a Johnny here. We're finally kind of coming back from the brink. Yeah, we could have done Clarion just for lifelink there, but I really wanted to get state because I didn't want to have them have like some random like resurgence or something like that, where we had to defend on two two things. Because of cards like Response and Resurgence and Boros decks, it really makes it difficult to uh, not want me to, to board wipe. Especially when they have all this mana. 
I think I think maybe a two of an, uh, of Azani and a Golgari list is probably fine. Um, but they're really bad early game. So they're good like mid like really late game, but they're terrible uh, like early mid game. Ooh, bye. okay. I'm gonna grab the other Aurelia or I would have actually grabbed the Raptor binding because they have so many Raptors in their hand. But I mean that's fair, I guess. If I had a creature that's not Aurelia, that'd be great. Let's see, you got a Glacial Fortress. I think I just want to plus a Johnny here. And hold up a Lightning Strike. Yeah, Azani was originally a mini Golgari decks. I agree, I think Azani was definitely need to be tinkered around with, but I do think that it's just kind of not that great. Yeah, too slow, exactly. Too slow. She can definitely win the game for you if you're being very careful, but I do think that most of the time she just does nothing, and it feels real bad. We're just going to plus a Johnny again and uh, pass turn. All we're doing is we're waiting for that emblem. If we hit emblem again, we're fine. If you have Raskin in the deck, it is better. I agree with that. Stitcher Supplier of Raskin, that kind of stuff. Let's go emblem. Boundary, no. And pass. Now we just win with the little kitty cats. How is Niv Perun doing at standard? Kitchen, that card is crazy powerful. That card is way more powerful than a lot of people like give it credit for. Um, I definitely think the card is, let's see, bodyguard here. Hmm. Let's go strike on the awakening here. Um, I think Niv is like amazing in standard right now. Like it's a card that I feel like a lot of people were undervaluing because of how restricted the mana was. But when it hits, it like wins the game for you almost. It's super powerful. Lifelink here is really good. Um, so I also like Resurgence here as well. Because it gives our creatures first strike. This gains us six uh, life here. I played in control two nivs in two thousands. Nice. <laughs> Opponent scooping. That seems fair. All right, let's go to the last deck of the day, which is the uh, Spain deck, which is a Bant control list. Carnage Sirens to fairies. Excellent binding settles. You know what this deck's made of. No, no hide Ferox is also in this deck, which I think is funny. Uh, Cyborg has some pretty fun stuff. Dawn of Hope, Cleansing Nova, Negate, Vivian Reed, of course, is in the Cyborg. Knight of Autumn as well. And then Sentinel Totem, Cyborg as well. Um, kind of wish we had, instead of the bindings here, maybe have the uh, either Dawn of Hope or Knight of Autumn. I feel like I like that a little bit better in game one, but we'll see what happens with Terran's Bane. Let me update the, uh, the overlay, by the way. I've been really bad about not doing that. I didn't do that the entire time during the... Uh, the Cyclops deck, and no one called me on it. All of Terran's favorite archetypes in one deck, yeah. <laughs> Mintos did pleasantly good. Yeah, I think that card is, they're not, that, that card. I think the deck is pretty good. Ferox is, is because it's a Hexproof list. That's why it's in the deck list, probably. This deck was submitted by uh, Sir Elks on Discord. Of course, I'm sure he's still in here. Yeah, there he is. Sight with the Tyrant and a Seal Away. Would love to have white mana. I think this is probably fine thanks to the Essence Scatter. We're also on the draw, so we'll go with the keep. Non bows, all the non creatures, though. That's true. Elf, let's go Glacial Fortress first. Yeah, Glacial Fortress first. Into an island next turn. I like top decking that white mana because it does mean that Seal Away is online. And Kimmich's Insight can be used as well. Are we seeing a turn three champion? It's like, oh, another elf. Okay. Is this Selesnya tokens? Forest, okay. 
Four mana scatter doesn't seem good to you. <laughs> uh, let's go with a island. Next turn. Definitely gonna take some damage this turn. Let's see though. Three green mana here basically means they're gonna have the champion. So let's see. I mean, that's still leaf champion. They got ranger instead. We're still going to uh, essence scatter that. Having five mana for them right now is really powerful too. So the wreckage is pretty good. Uh, let's go with a forest into a seal away. I like getting rid of one of the elves here. Would love another white mana for that settle, but we'll probably just settle on Kimberser's insight. Rexy's Scriptures is highly underplayed. I think that card is pretty good as well, uh, Cyborg. I do think there is a lot of enchantment hate, though, in the... Uh, 13 now. Another elf. This is pretty good. Let's make this. Last turn. Also, like, Scriptures basically has to see more play just because it's black, only hard uh, wipe. Yeah. I do think that... Uh, you're right, honestly. I just don't think it matters as much. I think Ritual is super good right now, though. And Vraska's Contempt is also pretty good. <clears throat> no attacks. Thank you. This does make our Chemistry's Insight settle and Essence Scatter pretty bad. So we'll see how this kind of shakes out for us this early on in the match. Them not really... We should have probably attacked in there, but them not really much is uh, really good. Passing. Let's go Temple Garden. Play out a Carnage Tyrant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Find Finality is good. I think that card's pretty good. I do think it misses a lot of the big bombs, like, you know, Whisperer and Tyrant, that kind of thing. Let's get him for six if we can. We do. Down to 12. This does not have Trample, which is kind of, uh... It looks like it would have Trample, but it doesn't. A wipe that is good versus control. Yes, I will take that. Okay. We actually have enough mana to use Saddle the Wreckage or Chemistry's Insight next turn, so I'm pretty happy with that. Insta, is this March the Multitudes? Yeah, for five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually die this next turn unless they have something else. This means that we want to keep up Settle the Wreckage next turn. Mana, do you have a pump spell? Do you have a Pride of the Conquerors? We're dead. Untapped on Temple Garden there. Yep, yep. Flower incoming. You know, is that a sorcery speed spell? I feel like it was. I block the two one here. I'm gonna go to four. Teferi is also very good here. Let's see, we have 13 right here. Get in for lethal. This is basically showing that we have that we have settle. So they have getting rid of it. Yeah, flourish the sorcery. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, I thought they might have had a July there. Yeah, they, they've seen around the settle here. Let's go settle. They're going to take away our uh, Ferox here. Which is actually fine, because it means we can go to Fairy, bounce Tristani, and, uh, should be okay. How did Mentor do went and made coffee? Eric, Mentor is actually not bad. I think we were one and one there. Two... So even if we bounce Tristani here. Say no. Bouncing Tristani. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can block. Let's see. I'm trying to think about if they they have to block at least um, six here to kill it, and then they go to one. Then they don't have one creature. So I think we're fine with attacking in here. This is a very close match with a life total. It's a win, but bad in control. Yeah, I can agree with that for sure. It definitely slows us down as far as being able to use acid scatters. And the opponents will need to block with at least six creatures to kill the Carnage Tyrant. They gain life here. So they may not want to do that. Let's see. I'm trying to see how they're, how they're going to block here. They'll go to five. Yeah, okay. That's that's what I thought they would do. Yeah, there we go. Build their board. They go to six. We'll go to three next turn thanks to Lanowar Elves. But we will be able to use Hesin and Geared of Chostani the following turn. Unless you have another Tristani. <laughs> no binding, binding for this for the Teferi. That's good. Okay. Yeah, they blocked it all. I didn't think they would block it all. That I was w hoping for the opponent to block that way so that we could last the turn. But if they didn't, then we we would have died. Now they have binding here for Teferi, so we actually don't win yet. We need to make sure that we uh, have a way to bounce back from this. I think Chemistry's Insight. Ooh, Walker's not great. This Insight on main phase. The Fairy's really good. We have Essence Scatter and Negate here, so we're actually not out of the woods yet as far as being able to be okay, but I think we're still alive. Let's see how they do the play here. So close. C Terran control. <laughs> X roof aren't that great. <laughs> yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah, they're drawing a card with it with Ark of Araska. This does mean we probably won't see Tristani this turn. Yeah, they don't have enough mana for that. They have four mana here. They would need one more. So we would just be taking two going to uh one. Ooh, they didn't attack! Why didn't they attack? That's so strange. Oh, I guess because of, because our mana, the way our mana's led up, they think that we have a uh, a settle. That's so good for us. Oh, thank you, opponent. Thank you, Kanye. You're amazing. We're gonna get rid of the negate here. 
and uh, just draw some cards. Yeah, they're respecting that settle. Oh, we got Gift of Paradise too. We're bouncing back, folks. All right. Let's see here. So, do we have enough enough, enough for settle and to ferry? Two, three. Here we do. Okay. Let's put this onto the island here. Gotta love that settle threat, dude. You gotta respect settle. It's such a super powerful card. It's so good. Here. Apparently, opponent's mana raised a coward. <laughs> Apparently, opponent's mama raised a coward. Yeah, I thought you misspelled mana. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We have two here for essence scatter. Correct. Oh, I have bind. They have binding on Teferi, so I can't play it. You are correct. Binding is a accurate card, so I can't use Teferi. We have to find out another way to do this. Okay. Going pretty pretty well, Jess. We're, we're almost done. This is the first match. One more match after this, and then we'll be done. Okay. So we can't play Teferi because of the binding here, so this does lock us out for a few turns, but the Gift of Paradise really helps for a turn or two. So they're going to try and play Tristani this turn, and we're going to have probably Sabotage for that. Now they're going to draw another card with Ark of Araska. What are the Gift of Paradise for in Band Control list? Just to gain life and uh, mana. That's it. I'm just holding out hope now for a... Uh, yeah, there's Tristani. Um, let's go blue. Go Sabotage. Uh-huh. We're going to throw Sabotage into the graveyard. Only thing clunkier than Esper mana in standard is <laughs> your mom. Goodness. No attack from the opponent again. They're respecting it. They're respecting that settle. Three cards in their hand now, so we're gonna pass a turn here. We desperately, desperately need something to be able to get that excellent binding off of our uh, Teferi. Do we have any game board? Let me look. I don't think we do. We have, okay, we have Ixalan's Binding of our, of our own, so if we get into those, that'd be great. Or a Carnage Tyrant or a Nullhide Ferox would be great as well. So those are all really good options for us. Immortal Sun from the opponent there. Might have been a bad idea to keep that, to throw that Sinister Sabotage away. This does make the Walker a 2-4. This gives us, uh, basically one turn. We already used uh, Chemistry's Insight, so we've already used it twice. Let's see. We have so Yes! Alright, let's go with a... Um, a pass here. I would like to get into Nixlon's Binding. That's my goal. My main goal. Okay. So... Sun does shut down to fairy as well, so we actually need a Carnage Tyrant or a Nullhide Ferox now. Yeah, get rid of that. Get that out of here. Nobody wants that nonsense. Tried to bait you out with a walker too, yeah. They might think we don't have settle because we've taken we've taken a hit. You know? Path of discovery from the opponent there. What is this deck list? This deck list is so random. You have everything. Please attack with everything. Oh. Okay. We're going to go down to one. We're going to use Settle just yet. We have to wait. We have to wait. <laughs> yes! This deck is just trolling me right now. All right, let's go with a uh, Temple Garden. And uh, pass. All right. We have enough mana here for two settles, which is amazing. So if we use settle this turn, which we will have to, um, they're still just going to hit with one one creature because that's that's their thing. All right, they know we have settle, obviously. So there's one down. One chaos one and then find a cross spider on the side. Yeah. All right, three cards in hand. 
We're drawing a card of the Ark of Araska. We are holding on, like by the skin of our teeth. If that's if that, that's even make if that makes sense. Two. Branch Walker here, making a big creature. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So we have enough to play a Carnage Tyrant or a Ferox and then settle. Hold up, settle. Which is pretty good. We keep top decking land and we don't need it. I mean, we still have a turn, so. Teeth skin, ew. <laughs> yep, draw two cards. Immortal Sun is really doing some work for them. Yep. Another settle for you. We have a turn. God, we need something. The problem now is if we get a binding here, we all we want to do is binding the, the walker. Because if we binding the Teferi, allowing us to cast Teferi, the Immortal Sun shuts down Teferi. So that's a that's a no-go. So we got a binding the walker. There's also the, the uh, downside here of Walker. Yeah, they're drawing a card with a marker of Raska now. Is it the Walker um, can become more powerful than a Carnage Tyrant? Ferox. Just not bad. So if they don't have a creature next turn, which they will have a creature, then the Walker um, can be killed by the Ferox. But if they don't have a creature, then we're fine. But they will. They've drawn too many cards not to have one. Uh, yeah, cleansing would be really great right about now. It would give them back a creature, but we would be able to play Teferi. Oh, no, they have shutdown. Okay, they have a uh, removal for Ner the Ferox here. So that's it. All right, concede. You finally won. You finally won. All right, let's go to sideboard here. Uh, Knight of Autumn is coming in like a crazy, crazy person. Uh, we're taking out. No! Why? What? You won that. Opponent, why? Oh, man, I wanted to, I wanted to play a game two on that. Knight was coming in for that. Cleansing Nova was definitely coming in. That sucks. That sucks so much. I really wanted to play a game two of that. Really close game. They need me <laughs> coward. Exactly, Anthony. Alright. My first yes. He respected that settle so much he, he decided to quit. This is uh Mulligan. This is not bad. I like it a lot more thanks to Siloe. Game one is all that matters. Ugh. To some people. <laughs> if you want to head to go so they can make a YouTube video about how much they hate the, this deck? Yeah, right. Koji opponent's mama raise coward. Goodness. Keep. Bottom. I don't think Ferox is good in this deck. I do think that uh, Bant, though, is pretty good overall. I think you're not, you're not into something here. I think Bant Control has a lot of good stuff. You have the best of both worlds. You have card advantage, you have removal, and you have big guy. You have the big guy. Let's go for a Plains here with love. Another one mana. We didn't get it. That sucks. Yes. Okay. Fair access for the lulls off for sure. Ooh, okay. Elite. This is definitely a, a Merfolk deck. Which is fun. Come on, deck list. Give me some some mana. Mana is always great, the mana just sucks. But where it's really uh, at is teamer. Hmm. Can't wait for all the shocks in standard. I know the next set coming out, all the shocks will be in standard and it's gonna be amazing. Any good anti control card seductions for the sideboard? I already have two tyrants in the main. Um, for what color selection? Yeah, branch walker here. We want to remove uh, the elite immediately. Flip the table. <laughs> Goodness. 
You still talking about Golgari, James? I mean, Duress is great. I always put that in the uh, the sideboard if I'm if I have black in my deck. It's very good against control. Body ratio is probably the best right now as far as uh, Demir against control. Thank you for hitting in. Especially when you have the unclaimed territory. Is Rampant Growth too powerful for standard? I would say so, Kitchen. Uh, because we already have turn three Steel Leaf Champion, so any faster than that. Come on, deck. I need land? If I can just get one more land, I'll play Gift of Paradise and be set. Gogori? Yeah, I think uh, Duress is fine. Assassin's Trophy is great. Eldest Reborn is also pretty good. Uh, Reborn is really good at getting around other Cardinal's Tyrants. All right. Get in for four. Yep. Please give me a land. Uh, I just feel sad. Can I have an upkeep trigger here? I don't think Rampant Growth would affect Steel Leaf coming down turn two. That's true. Sonic 3 music? Oh, yeah. Sonic 3 is pretty good. Not too strong. Yeah. Sorcerer's Spire is very good as well. I agree with that. All right. We're not going to use Treasure Map just yet. We're, we're going to die either way if we don't get Gift of Paradise this turn. All right. Well, let's concede. No land for six turns is really obnoxious. Okay, um. Lens was coming in. Taking out Ferox. Gates coming in. Hit submit. How many land do we have in the deck? We have 25 lands. We didn't draw any of them. What's happening? Kaito gives perfect info plus a clock and disruption. That's, that's true, sir, Elks, but I do think that there's a lot of removal right now, and Kitesail just isn't that great uh, compared against that much removal. That's why it's, it's not really seeing that much play other than the Humans deck in, uh, in Modern. <laughs> also, what Cyborg said about uh, Kitesail and Contempt. Contempt is very good, too. Yeah, Spyglass is amazing. That's true. You could find a good Kitesail back. That's that's fair, but I just feel like having them having to, you know, I don't know. It's just tempo that we're having to put onto ourselves. I'm going to keep this hand because we didn't see land the whole game. So even though this is a very mana intensive hand, I do not care. Really doubting keeping two landers. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it most of the time works out, but when it doesn't, it's really painful. Let's go harbor here and pass. Is that Sonic with Knuckles? Yeah. This is Sonic and Knuckles, yeah. <laughs> Getting six here. This is all of the Sonic music. So we've gone through two, three, and this is Sonic and Knuckles now. And then we'll hit Sonic Mania in it. Last turn. Territory, not bad. I love Territory. Such a good card. I'm actually building an Abzan uh, Knights list right now with Unclaimed Territory in it. Elite. Hit six for them. Let's go uh, Sun Petal. Actually, let's go Glacial Fortress. No, we'll go Plains. We'll go Plains because that's making sure we have Settle on turn uh, four. Fortress or Plains was fine there. Didn't matter. One of my first standard deck one, keeping one landers constantly. Oh, nice. Let's go, uh, Sabotage. 
Sabotage. Oh, we're going to throw that into the graveyard. We've got plenty of land now. Hitting in for one. Cleansing Nova is a really good get. Let's do a Fortress Pass. This means we're going to do Chemistry's Inside on their instep. Let's go with a chemistry's insight on their instep. Card. They revealed a jade bearer, so a jade bearer is coming out. I'm assuming this turn as well. Wow, they're doing deep, deep root elite here, so they're really like digging in. I feel like if they did a um, something like hold up negate or spell pierce, then that would have been way more successful, but. We're gonna do chemistry's inside on their instep and then just cleansing Nova on upkeep. They're on main phase one. So they hit us for two. Seth just did a 17 minute video on Arena's vault slash wildcard system. Nice. I'm sure he's not happy about it. Because <laughs> the vault system right now is broken. Yeah, how bad the system is? Exactly. It's pretty terrible. That's why I'm still in, Are uh, in uh, MTGO. A lot of people are like, I can build the same deck for this, like, cheaper on Arena. And I'm like, can you, though? Can you? I think you can. I think you're just saying that because you think that. But that's not really what's happening. Because it's all luck with the uh, wildcard system. And, of course, opening packs is luck as well. So it's especially difficult right now with all of the mana bases the way they are in standard. It's just really difficult to build a good standard deck in Arena. And also, even when you're in arena, in competitive, you're still playing against like half-made decks. So you're not even playing against like real competitive decks. You're just playing against decks that are like, ah, I built this because all I had was this. I don't know. It just really bothers me. Unless you spend like, you know, a grand, but it's like, I don't know. You can spend a hundred tickets and build the exact deck you want on online. And you can maybe spend 50 bucks in arena and get the same deck, but you're not, you're not like guaranteed, you know, it's like you might get enough wild cards, but we don't know. That's what bothers me about it. That was a really good rebuild opponent. Um, let's see. One, two, three. Let's go get to paradise. Hold up. We also have Kimish's Insight in our graveyard, but we're going to use Settle if they tap out again. Man, they are just aggressive. Yeah, okay. So with an almost full collection, you have to spend 70 bucks to get just one vault full again. It's awful. Arena is better because of the graphics, and graphics are everything. I mean, I guess you're, you're not wrong there. If you want to, you know, do that, that's fine. If that's your big hang-up, graphics, you know. But, I mean, most of the time, people who play, like, online Magic are really there want to play Magic and maybe build a deck that's really good for Paper Magic. That's normally, like, how I kind of see it. I'm going to go with the discard island here, draw these cards. Plus, I'm not really like, I'm not upset with this uh, layout on or online at all. I really like this layout, honestly. It's very clear. You see everything going on, you know? It's fun. Uh, I think we want to go binding on Jimena here. They're going to probably draw a card. 
Graphics aren't everything if you have taste. I don't know. I mean, graphics definitely do, you know, show off the capacity of the, for of the, of the software, which is fine, and I like that. I just think that, like, oh, Arena's going to be great because Modern's going to come to it and all this stuff. I'm like, they've already said this, like, multiple times, that Modern and Commander and all these other formats are not coming to Arena. And even if they were, they would be, like, five years from now because it would take that much time to code that much stuff. Let's go seal away onto... Uh, the elite here, I think. I think that's fair. We'll be taking four points of damage, but it's really good at shutting them down. MBG represents a tabletop setting, which I can always get down. Yeah, exactly. Also, it's really hard sometimes for me to understand what's going on in a board on arena because of the way the perspective is. I wish they would allow a classic perspective and then like that way it's like flat like this so I can see what's happening. That's my biggest visual hang up on Arena, that they don't allow a flat perspective. MTGO looks like software, uh, Microsoft DOS, so it's bad. I mean, that's your opinion, dog. I, I like the simplified version here. The Spider, so many creatures, so many. All the creatures. Good Lord. I'm kind of amazed to keep playing creatures. Chrono Cross is amazing in my opinion. Oh, I love Chrono Cross. Getting in for 7, down to 10. Friend of mine seriously thinks MGG looks prettier than Arena. I'm not saying that. I think it just... I think people are just counting Arena out because of the... Oh, but... You know. I'm gonna go... Here? I guess. Do that. You're counting your uh, uh, online out because of the way it looks. And that's a really big um, misconception. It's pretty naive. Okay. The old timer in me hates change. I mean, I don't. Honestly, I think it's fine that they're trying to update stuff. It's good. I just do think that. Uh, there are some things in our online that you obviously can't do in Arena. Uh, one thing that I really enjoy in online that you uh, do in Arena as well is deck building. And deck building in Arena is so obnoxious and it's just frustrating. Oh my gosh, opponent, please, please do, it. do it. Come on. You know you want to. Opponent's really thinking about this attack right now. Does he have it? Of course I have it. Why wouldn't I have it? Now, if they have Spell Pierce, we have a uh, negate for that, so. Nice. I've had money, I would play PGO, but because I am broke, college student, Arena fills in as a budget option, which I think is fine. I think that's great. And I think right now, Standard is really good in Arena. Um, the problem that I, that I feel like a lot of people are kind of seeing is the foresight that Standard isn't always good. <laughs> like, Standard sometimes is full for like over a year and a half, which was Kaladesh Standard. So, I don't know. Man, they just refilled their deck, their their thing again. They are killing it. Do you have a source for the no, no modern slash EDH on Arena? I have a friend who is adamant that modern and DCI events will be on Arena in a year. Oh, that's not true. Um, there are, I feel like, I can't remember the actual thing. I feel like uh, Saffron Olive put an article out that, like, sourced everything. I said it multiple times in, like, shareholder meetings and all that kind of stuff. Let's go with green here. Do we have enough up for a sabotage or a negate? Which is good. I can't remember the actual links though. But they've said it several times in the shareholder meetings and even on their own like MTG articles. Arena would definitely never have actual ranked competitive stuff. I don't know about that, honestly. Uh, we're going to want to finish the sabotage that. Very strange to see that in the deck list, but I'm guessing it's just for stuff like that. Not in the next 2 plus series if it even lives that long. I think Arena is one of those things where it's probably going to be around for a long time, which is fine. 
They definitely needed a big big thing like that. Zero cards in hand. We have negate and essence scatter, which is quite good. Now we could attack in here. I hold back. Let's pass. I miss uh Burnish Shot, Elders Moon Standard, Fun Times. Well, that's one of the things that they're probably going to do next year. Uh, and this is the thing that we've kind of all thought about they're, them doing is um, they're probably going to make a postmodern format starting at Shadows of Renishad because those are already in Arena, like as far as programmed. And so they're trying to make like a, 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 a new modern, postmodern format, which is smart. We're slowly coming back here, but we're also really behind. What's up, Logan? How's it going, my dude? Hope all is going well. It's going pretty good, Logan. How's it going with you, man? Speaking of decks to play, can we play Mono White Vamps sometime? Mono White Vamps? Uh, in Modern or Standard? Reclamation Sage is legal? Yeah. It's a, it came from Corset 2019, so it really throws me off, too. No set older than Kaladesh programming. Yeah, we won that. That's cool. Let's go to game two here. Uh, I think we're fine with what we have. Um, if you want to be a little more obnoxious, I guess we could bring in Night of Autumn. Instead of Paradise. Let's do that. Arena is to push and not survive. Paid streamers from Gwent and Hearthstone helps. Yeah. In modern, I guess you'll never again acknowledge that mistake. Me the other day, I still chuckled at the thought. What now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, Eric. Yeah, I renamed... If you guys don't know what, what, what Eric is talking about, I accidentally named our graphic. Instead of saying mono black vampires, it said mono white vampires. Which is funny. Has anyone played Gwent? I played it for like 0.5 seconds within Witcher 3 and got really bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's just guy control i haven't uh today but i mean i think just guy control is very powerful costas i went over it on the facebook page um this is a bad slow hand and i can't keep it though for that cleansing nova let's keep it magic is academy theory academic theory old times greater than modern <laughs> Greater than postmodern, yeah. Rudy says box prices are going up, so maybe Arena is bringing in more people. Um, he said, it, I mean, I kind of agree with that a little bit. I definitely think that a lot of people are just migrating from online to Arena to check out and see what it's about. And of course, people that were playing um, Duel of Planeswalkers and stuff like that are migrating to a Arena. Now, I think, uh, isn't Duel still on like Android and iOS devices? Isn't that still on there? Or was it never on there? Am I, am I thinking of something else? Am I thinking of Puzzle Quest? I don't think Arena will ever come to a, a, a like a mobile device. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's go Harbor here. We're going to have a real hard time. I don't know if we're going to win this now. The way our hand shaped up at uh, the draws, it's looked real bad. Got it on your phone? I got you, sideboard. I think a lot of people are just kind of migrating from those formats to uh, the new one. Magic Duels was on iPhone. Gotcha, yeah. I was just making sure. I couldn't remember. LGS had a promo event thing at our university this week to get more people in. Nice. I definitely think that uh, Watsi is just throwing uh, beta codes out into the wilderness, which is kind of insane. Like, I had more beta codes than I could even think of whenever I was in open beta. Like for, uh, or not, cl closed beta and alpha. And uh, I think it's just funny that they're just like giving stuff away. Arena's made in Unix, so it should be on everything. Even, wait for it, Mac. I think that that's probably the, the end goal sideboard for sure. I do think that they may need to do some quick uh, editing with uh, the UI for mobile devices, though. Like the client can probably be the same as far as like hosting matches and stuff, but like the UI needs to be slightly tweaked so that it's easier to uh, get through cards in your hand. But I don't know. Cleansing Nova is gonna be really good if we hit that fifth land. We just have so much tap mana. 
taking four this turn. Thanos Climb is also doing that too. I think we're just dead now. It was built for touchscreens. I mean, the bottom bar, really? I just don't think you could see anything, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the UI. I think it's just a little too uh, obnoxious for me. Island there's pretty okay. That means we hold up Sinister Sabotage and hope to not die next turn. <laughs> What? Uh, plus X for its power. I think we're just dead, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're not completely dead, but if they, if they play something, we're dead. Sabotage is pretty good here. Not a fan of Arena at all. Yep, they're going to go wing it here. Oh, goodness. Tapping out for that. We go to one. Oh, they're not. Okay. That's strange. Okay, we're going to go... Uh, Canvasher's inside here. Now, this tells me that they're probably going to have a negate or a spell or something. Which is not great. So, we're just... Oh, we, I just misplayed on the fortress there. No! Oh, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> that's my fault. All right. That's going to do it. <laughs> I think we were dead anyway, obviously, because they had enough mana there for a negate and a spell pierce. But it definitely laid the mana wrong, so that's my fault. That's my fault. But that's going to do it today, guys. Make sure to like the video on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to make a deck for the Fan Fridays, make sure to submit them on the Facebook group on MTGO Traders. Just search that. We're on there. Or the Discord. Discord. Um, Elliot, if you could post a Discord link in the chat, that would be great. Would appreciate that. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for sticking around. Have fun at your local FNM. Have fun at Friday Night Magic. And have fun if you're going to a draft or something this weekend. Or uh, whatever, you know. If you're, if you're watching any kind of streamed magic, that would be great as well. So, overall, just, just have fun. See you in kitchen. See you, sideboard. See you, Sir Elks. Everybody had some fun decks today. I do uh, apologize for that misplay at the very end there, but we, uh, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> That's why it's live. We always misplay, right? Uh, it's always like in, in the after after the matches happen, it's always like, oh, this guy misplayed. He's terrible. And I'm like, I don't know, man. It's really hard to talk and be entertaining and also play a game at the same time. Thanks for the link, Elliot. That's the board if you want to join that. Have fun there. I haven't been to one of these in a while. Good show. Good show. Thanks, James. I appreciate that. But for today, see you guys on Monday with MTGO Finance. And hopefully I'll get the new Aggro Sucks video out next week as well. So have a good one. Peace.